Ho ho ho! What's up, everybody? Hoya! Oh, yeah. Let's go! It's a streamer night! Look at that! I even got a little heart in my coffee! Post Valentine's Day! Let's go! Is now roasting his own coffee beans to make a cup of espresso? Huru, you know you're in the kitchen right now making me a double shot, don't ya? <laughs> Stop talking about yourself! Hoya! Oh, yeah. Let's go! We gotta get a little bit of, uh, a little bit of hydration in before we get the caffeine. You know how it is. Mmm. This is the perfect time to stream? 7 o'clock is better than 6.30? I thought you guys were gonna be pissed. I delayed it for half an hour. Very sorry. What's up, Bruce? What's up, skull -some? Oh, dude, we got, we got poppin' to nizzle. We got a poppin' to nizzle. It's Monday, my dudes. Zekin is the calendar king. You are indeed correct. Kevin, please. John. Oh, Moon Operator. What's up, buddy? All right. I, I, it's passable. It's passable. We, it, the intention was there. The intention was there. Right? The intention was there. 10 out of 10 heart. Yo, <laughs> you are not as picky as I am then, sir. All right. Have we got quite the stream tonight? Where is the White Claw? Did someone redeem White Claw? No. Your stream is starting intro has the... I know, Bruce. I know. Thank you for pointing that out. And thank you for letting everyone in chat know. I need to speak to my manager about changing that. <laughs> First time watching the start of the stream. Yo. Is that a young Han Solo or what? <laughs> What's up, Jigsaw? Quite the stream, huh? You know what, Jinte? Don't make me. All right? Just don't make me. Heart 7 out of 10, mug 10 out of 10. Yo, this is the uh, Madcap mug. I actually really like this one. It's got that flat top with the little lightning bolt. Super, super comfy. Mm. Now the time is kind of ass. Okay, buddy. <laughs> so today going to be a six hour stream or dash. Do you really want me to have a six hour stream? Honestly, I can't even handle myself talking. I've been, I've been contemplating, I shouldn't even say contemplating, I've been dwelling on potentially doing a, uh, a subathon, but quite frankly, I don't even know if I could listen to myself talk for more than four hours. I think four hours might be my max. <laughs> Dr. Huru Banjinte, <laughs> what did he do? What did he do? I see messages deleted by moderator, how do I check those? How do I check those? <laughs> Jintae kind of toxic. What did he do? What do you mean? What did he do? Censored. I actually want to know what he wrote. I don't, how do I check that? What's up, Maze by Grace? Subathon. Yeah, okay. Honestly, by four hours, I start to get delirious. I don't even know what I'd be spewing about if I was like six, maybe seven hours in. I'm not responding to anything Huru says. Okay, that's valid. That's valid. <laughs> he didn't say anything. He said he was gonna ignore my comments. Wow, that's pretty rude. I think that deserves a ban. No one should ignore Huru, he's a doctor. You always listen to the doctor, okay? <sighs> the delirium is what we want. I know you guys want the delirium, but at that point, it starts to become a sacrifice to myself. <laughs> Split it up into keyboards, coffee, mineral, bicycle, fat. You know, maybe I should just do like a, um, maybe I'll just be a, do a variety subathon. You know, I'll, I'll build some keyboards. I'll work on my bike. I'll show off some minerals. I'll, I'll do some bartending. I'll make a Tom Collins and espresso martini. I'll go play tennis with Brandon Schlack. Um, maybe I'll get a GoPro for, uh, for mountain biking. <laughs> oh. I'm telling you, an anti-subathon would be perfect. I still think that's an amazing idea. 
just do a marble subathon. Okay, I'm literally just gonna do, I'm gonna do marbles for eight hours straight. Oh, uh, dude. I just went to the farmer's market. Cause uh, you know, planet, earth. And um, I got these almonds, dude. And they're like, they call them Mexican almonds. They have like this like spice and chocolate on it. Oh my God. I'm sorry, but we're having a little pre pre stream snack. Almonds. I heard Austin likes almonds. We sub it downing right now? I sure hope not. Do you have work tomorrow? I do. I didn't have work today though. It's a bank holiday. Mm. I think, I don't know if it's, you know what? It's actually not chili spices. It's like, um, it's like what's on a churro? Brown sugar? I think it's just sugar and chocolate. And they call them Mexican almonds and they're ridiculous. What's up, Chong? How you doing? Hey, hi, how you doing? Used to hate almonds, now I love them. That's me with a lot of foods these days. Have you seen the new keyboard intercheck for the goblin? He's a beast, he's a dog, he's a mother goblin. Okay, here I go. What's a goon to a goblin? Some old Korean designer came back for it, I heard. Huh. I have not, Dash. Should I check it out? Is it on the Geek Hack? Goblin? The I think I just got double trolled. It's pretty real estate. I just got double trolled because I just Googled geek hack goblin and the first one that pops up is the knob goblin. I thought that was the troll, but now I'm looking at the stream and I'm seeing that this is the real troll. Thank you. Appreciate that dash. I didn't think you were capable of that, but I guess I should not underestimate the stream. An anonymous gifter gave, okay, buddy. I wonder who that was. <laughs> Am I banning Dash? You know what, Dash? If that was anyone else, if that was Darian saying that to me, or if that was John saying that to me, I would say ban. But because it's Dash, I'll let it slide. How are you, Ryan? Internet cutting in and out, gonna lurk. Why? Ooh, my, my internet actually went out earlier as well. Uh, I came home and, the, and all the clocks were off. <laughs> I guess the internet went out earlier for like five minutes. Your viewers aren't called troller dogs for nothing. I kind of set myself up for that one, didn't I? Ignored my sub. Okay, dude. Was it in the middle of all my trolling dogging? Let's see. All right. All right, Landon. Sure, sure. Thank you for the for the sub, Mr. Landon Connor. What's up, dude? Hey, hi. Darian, Kaylee Five gifted dear ones up to Darian Badass, dude. That sounds like a rap name. Isn't there someone Joey Badass? <laughs> oh, hey, Jinte, welcome back. <laughs> okay, okay. I kind of want to do an espresso martini, um, but I don't know. I think with, with all these Kaze builds, the stream might be a little long with that. Got no electricity in Texas. Why is everyone's electricity going out? That's so weird. Huh. If we get enough subs, will Ryan get DMCA banned? Dude, I already, I looked at, I, I tried watching my last stream and like half of it was muted. Snowing in Texas? Oh, okay. Well, Quinn, come on. What are you, the weatherman? How do you know what's going on in Texas? What, did you check your Doppler 7000? Make the martini. Make the Camart. Make the martini. Come on, dude. Uh, I'm Texas Kona. What the hell is Kona? Oh, wait, no, I... Um, 
Uh, Maze by Grace told me what K Kona was. I know what K Kona is now. Yeah, it's the American dude. Go, go soon, him. What's up? Hello, Sandfax. What's up, dude? I'm not a meteorologist, but I did stay at a Holiday Inn. What? <laughs> Jigsaw, you out of control. It's another name for K Beauty. All right, dude. I'd have to pull another shot, dude. I don't know. Can I handle three shots and and uh, ooh, three shots of, of espresso back to back? Should I do it? Yo, Kaze Proto, let's go. Hmm. Well, we got a level one hype train. I dig that. Three shots, you crazy man, dude, right? Well, I just tanked two shots. Just use it for espresso martini. I'll do a single shot with the espresso martini. How about that? Is Kaze Kaze? Ordered up a cup of Kaze. What's up, Patty de la Beefy? That's the only way I can say your name. What up, Will? It's when your cousin looks kind of juicy after you've been locked in the house for 11 months. Okay, buddy. All right, make the drink. What, you guys just, you guys just like me more when I'm buzzed, don't you? I see how it is. You know, ever since, I think I've drank more on stream than I've drinking outside of stream. I'm, I might have had more shots on stream than I have in my entire life on off stream. <laughs> <laughs> I for sure have had more beers on stream than off stream. 100%. No cap. <laughs> Chat just trying to take advantage of Ryan's drunken state, dude. Come on. I, I I will I will admit I was a little I was a little buzzed when I was building this board. Buzzed intentionally throws when soldering, right? Yeah, when I was building the Dalco here, I got a, I got a little I got a little lit. All right, let me turn the coffee machine on. Hold on. Wait a minute. It's a job. You ever get caffeine withdrawal? I actually did a, a caffeine um, tolerance break. I did a no no caffeine for two weeks, and I will be honest, it was quite rough. I only have two thousand points now. <laughs> Rip. All right, let me uh, let me grab the. Oh God. Let me, let me, let me make some, do I do this over the gaff mat again? Oh man, I'll be right back. I don't even know if I remember how to make this drink. We're, we might have to consult YouTube again. Ooh, I do have a sick... Check this out. Where did I put it? I got this sick from your girl on Etsy. Let's go. There we go. Perfect. What's up, Spooky? All right. And away we go. Is that a snake? John, or <laughs> Austin, it's whatever you want it to be, okay? Two shots of vodka, 1.5 of simple syrup. Ooh, yo, dude, I was actually right about to Google it and uh, Mr. John hit, hit it with me. Let's go, dude. Snake, snake, Severus Snape, Dumbledore. Okay, I'm gonna get the shot, burb.
Oh boy, oh boy, we back. I'm starting to think Ryan is around my age with all these references. <laughs> Probably. I can imagine John whipping around a bottle of soju at a Korean restaurant and do that little twirly thing, smack the bottom. <laughs> you know what? You know what's funny? Hang on, I gotta show you guys something. I gotta show you guys something. Don't look at my phone. You can go look at Mr. Biso. All right, so Mr. <laughs> Mr. John came over um, to pick up, uh, ooh, I'm actually gonna check, show you guys these. These are the 808 inks. I'm gonna do a little review on these. Um, and then I gave John my ogre to borrow. And, uh, <laughs> my, my, I wasn't home, so my brother had to give it to him. <laughs> and uh, you guys gotta look here. He actually said, he said, lol, John seems like a wholesome guy. Yeah, okay, buddy. <laughs> John, John must have been on his best behavior, but I don't believe it. I don't believe it. <laughs> John's super toxic. He's like, Ryan told me I could come over and borrow a keyboard. It's the red one over there. Um, can I please, if you could grab it, not out of your way. Uh, and here's consolation. Give him these switches. Thank you very much. Oh, and then Michael's like, wow, what a great guy. <laughs> okay, I'll go get my shot. Character assassin assassination underway. Bro, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, John. I'm sorry. He said you were a wholesome guy. Come on. That's a compliment. I bought some artisans from John, John and he, he was wholesome. Yeah, he was. He was. <laughs> Someone called 911. Man down, man down. Yo, okay. I only, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make this real quick. We're gonna do some, some, I actually have three Kaze builds to show you guys. I'm doing a little bit of QC today too. So I'm actually gonna show you um, kind of a little bit of the QC process with, with what we're gonna do for the Kazes. Um, and, uh, but I have one thing to ask of you guys. What up, Arthur? Let's go, dude. Subscribed at tier one. Kettle one is the only alcohol for me. Dude, Kettle one is actually, um, they actually, their U.S. is super, their U.S. headquarters is very close to me. Um, and I've actually been there for some, some events. But, um, Kettle One is boss. I like Kettle One. And it's not crazy expensive. <laughs> but, um, what was I saying? Yes, I have one ask of you guys. Um, so whenever I have too much coffee, my friends call me Joe Rogan because I won't stop talking. Uh, they say, oh, there he goes, he's turning into Joe Rogan again. So, if I if I start talking too much, because this is going to be my third shot, you guys need to tell me to shut up and get to building, all right? That's all I'm asking. Don't let me Joe Rogan, you guys. <laughs> the U.S. Kettle One headquarters is down the hall from him. <laughs> it's pretty, wow. <laughs> I see what you did there. Joe Ryan, let's go. No, 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 no. We're, we're, this, is a serious, this is a serious stream, serious stream. Okay. But check out this crema. Oh my lanta. Look at that crema on this shot. I mean, even look at it in this. That's a lot of crema. This is going to be a good one. Okay. Somebody come get her. All right. Let's do this. Okay. All right, John, what is, pour some kettle one in that thing. Oh, you betcha, dude. You'll betcha. All right, so we got. I should remember this because I'm not an actual bartender if I forget, right? 
Google that, young Jamie. Yeah, John, Google that. <laughs> John's my young Jamie. John, Google it. Google the espresso martini, please. <laughs> oh, Jamie, John's got this. John's got this. John knows everything. <laughs> What's happening here? What's up, Akarshi? We're, 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 we're making a little pre, pre stream drink. We're only at 33 minutes, so I figure we got some time to kill. You know what I'm saying? Okay, two vodka. Dude, that's a lie, right? Really? Two shots? No, I, I usually, you don't put two shots in this. Or is that two ounces? That's two ounces, huh? What is this? Two ounces, okay. All right. Two shots, so yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, whatever, whatever, dude. I'm playing literally like, what am I doing? There we go. Only at, okay, we're dropping shit today. We're only at 33 minutes, yes. <laughs> One, three hours later. This is not it. What am I doing? Okay. Okay. Two ounces of vodka. Swig the vodka. Dude, you never know who's watching this, okay? There could be parents watching. There could be uh, potential clients watching. There could be even like future, um, you know. I gotta I got be careful, gotta be, got be professional here. No handle pulls on this stream, no sir. <laughs> Two ounces of vodka, one and a half of simple syrup, one and a half of coffee liqueur. All right, so we already did the vodka, that was kettle one, pretty basic. Um, I did explain a potential client here, please chug, wow. Imagine, imagine if a client was like, unless you do a handle pull, I'm not giving you my money. <laughs> Um, so we're actually using the, uh, Mr. Black today. This is the cold brewed coffee liqueur. Yo, Mr. Uh, Mr. Quinn, is this popular in Australia? Because it uses, look at that, Australian vodka with cold brew. So kind of cool. Your girl might be watching too. <laughs> yeah, somebody come get her. Swig the, what does swig the vodka mean? What does swig the vodka mean? I'm Asian, so I don't drink, he so I just drink Hennessy. Well, <laughs> how much caffeine is going in this? Um, a shot, one shot, cause I already had two shots and you only have one shot. Don't miss your shot to blow. There's only one opportunity in this lifetime. Just don't let it go. All right, what else we got here? You guys are talking too much. I keep losing my recipe. Okay. Two ounces of vodka. Okay, we got the vodka in there already. We got one and a half of simple syrup. I'm gonna do like a little bit less than that because I don't want too much sugar. Sugar bad, bad, bad. And then we got one and a half ounces of coffee liqueur. I feel so sick every time I say that. So sorry. <laughs> Rap stream, right? I don't know if you guys knew this, but you should check out my SoundCloud. Um, wait, was that it? Oh no, we need the coffee liqueur. Didn't know Lil Stacks was quite the barista. So this drink actually requires you to be a barista and a bartender. A barista and a, dude, I don't know why every time I wanna say bartista. I, 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 I fear for the day that I say bartista out loud. I'm not gonna call myself a bartender because you're not supposed to use this thing. You're supposed to just eyeball it, but you know, I'm an apprentice. I'm, a, I'm, I'm an apprentice to YouTube. That wasn't a full shot rig. Dude, this thing doesn't even have much alcohol. Okay, now here's our shot. <laughs> you should come on stream with a Farquad wig one day. You won't, dude. If I go to a Halloween store, they'll probably have a far quad hat, right? Or like costume. I could probably buy one of those. 
Yo, Jigsaw Saint gifted a tier one sub to Lil Lil Fax. <laughs> Is that T Pain? Is that T Pain out there? <laughs> Let's go, dude. I appreciate you, Jigsaw. Thank you very much. It's free real estate. What is the drink you're making called? This is an espresso martini, or so it should be. All right, now we're gonna put some ice in. Man, I had my first beer yesterday in months, could barely finish it. Yeah, dude, I hate beer. I don't know why my stream makes me drink beer. Okay, now we put the top on it. Oh! Do you have a chilled glass? I need to go get, I got the sickest martini glasses. Are you guys ready to have your minds blown? Bruh, check, check this out. Double walled martini glass. The ice isn't gonna melt. Okay. I'm scared. Last time I made a mess. Absolute, absolute mess. Okay. You're supposed to shake it for 10 to 12 seconds. All right, I think we did it. I think we did it. This always gets like frozen on here. I don't get it. There we go. Uh oh. Spillage. 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 It's going to go through to the gaff mat. Oh my God, I'm scared to lift it up. I'm scared to lift it up. Okay, anyway, anyway, we're, we're, we're all right. We're every, everything's all right, everything's all right. Everything's all right, okay. Nice, nice. Now we take this thing here. And give her a little swirl and a pour. Boom! Oh, wait. I forgot the best part. Burb. Those biceps going like, oh, okay, buddy. Also, a strainer goes on the shaker, not in the cup. On the shaker, not in the cup. I'll figure that one out later. Ho ho ho! Bar test, <laughs> bar testers, <laughs> bartenders are laughing at me, but I'm laughing at them. Let's go. You messed up garnishing time, 100%. Check it out. Oh my god. Whoa! This thing is slippery. Look at that foam. Look at that foam. Mmm. I'd pay for this drink. JJ gifted a sub to Bartista? Come on, dude. You guys are just making fun of me at this point. <laughs> I appreciate you, but I don't appreciate you at the same time. Redeem drink water. Okay, buddy. Could have been a Kaze logo garnish. Oof. Kinda, huh? Damn, I could have. Wow, I certainly could have. Rip. Next time on my Super Sword Show. Bartista, isn't he the muscly guy from the Marvel film? You're going places, buddy. Is it? Is that his name? This is the police. We're looking for an armed suspect flashing his guns. Hey, Curse, did you get a, did you get tickets to the gun show? 
He means he put the little strain on the shaker instead of on the cup. Oh, rip. <laughs> rip. Hydro homies, drink your water. I got you. Where is the heart, right? Where I should, I should, oh my, dude, this thing, this is actually kind of hard to drink. It's too like, whoo. All right, I'm scared to lift this up. All right, we're chilling, we're chilling. Looking professional, you know, I try, I try. I, I told myself I need to learn how to make one drink and this was it. So I, I'm content, I'm content with myself. You need a straw? <laughs> wow. You know, you, when, you, when you ask for a straw when you're out with the boys and they all make fun of you, you never ask for a straw again. Is that a Dalco? This is the Dalco, yep. Oh, looky Ryan, he ordered it. He got a straw for his drink. <laughs> Pretty digging. Pretty digging. Uh, John has my ogre right now, so this one's getting all the all the loving. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. All right. <laughs> real men use straws. Is that like uh, real men uh, wear pink? All right. Let's take a look at these 808 inks. I think they really nailed the colors on these. Um, I personally, <laughs> I kind of goofed up, but it was, it was more a principal thing, right? I refused to bot to join a switch group by. I don't know why. I just thought I, I didn't, I didn't want to, I didn't like that. So I, uh, I, I didn't join this. And then when they delivered, I was like, wow, I probably should have joined that. And I got mad FOMO. So, uh, uh, Darian let me know that Fox uh, had some extras. So shout out to Fox for these. <laughs> Dude, the drink is so close to the edge. It's so close to the edge. It's fine. It's chilling. Uh, but yeah, let's take a look at the picture. Like, pretty cool. Uh, but I, I must, I must say, these are without a doubt without a doubt smoother than than other v2 inks that i've heard for sure smoother um the issue that i saw which which k thrizzy showed me which maybe i'll post it in my in my discord as well um he said that the bases on this on these inks are um a little bit uh smaller so there's a bit there's a bit of wobble um, I haven't I haven't built a board with it to confirm, but he he showed me a video where they kind of wobble a little bit more than normal inks. But as far as smoothness goes, 100% smoother. I would say, yo Chad, what's up, buddy? Chad Tuckett, subscribe for four months, kind of crazy, kind of crazy. So call me maybe. I appreciate you, Chad. Even though you're a Chad, there's only room for one Chad in this year's stream, but you can have it today. Cheers to the Kaze. Cheers, buddy. Hopefully you got a drink. But uh, I would say these are 100% smoother than V2 inks. So if these sound as good as just normal V2 inks, I would I would take these over the V2 inks. I would almost venture to say they're as smooth as V1 inks. So really excited to build with these. These are not lubed or filmed, so I'm gonna have to do that at some point. I saw that too. I'm hoping with the PCB it won't be an issue. Yeah, maybe I can show you guys. Do I have any V2? Uh, uh, I might. Let me let me grab a let me grab a plate and show you. I'm actually curious because I haven't tried it out myself. Thank you. 
They seem fine. To, at least on this plate, they seem fine. Hmm. Maybe it's just certain plates. Ooh, hyperglides. I will. <laughs> Funny enough, I broke my own principle and I joined the hyperglide uh, group by. So I do have those coming. It's because the plate is red, <laughs> right? What board is that plate for? This is for the one I showed on the last stream. The uh, the X, what is it, the X arch, X arc. I could show that again after the causes if you guys want to see it. But yeah, so there's no mounting tabs. This is only O-ring mount. But uh, these are the 808 inks. So I'm gonna be building, I love inks if you guys couldn't tell. <laughs> Uh, so I'm actually really excited to, to do a build with these. They feel pretty good. That was Kirby, but Kaze too lit for me to join that one. Yo, what's up, people? Ooh, Zoo is gracing us with his presence. What's up, Zoo? Uh, I will never join a group buy for Switches again. I joined a Hyperglides group buy that somehow the whole order for the group buy got lost at sea. Now I'm stuck waiting all over. Wait, Patty, are you talking about the one from, uh, oh shit. Are you being my group I update right now during the middle of my stream? Was that the one for, uh, what's that? What was that one called? I hope it's not the same one I joined. <laughs> well, who did the Hyperglides group by? No, are you serious? Am I, am I switches lost? Really? Are you joking or are you serious? Are you, don't, seriously, don't troll me right now. Seriously, don't troll me. Are they actually are they actually lost? Because I was waiting on those. Not trolling. See, this is why I don't look for group by. I don't I don't I don't do any group by updates. I literally if they show up, they show up. They're at the bottom of the ocean. Wait, you guys mean like they're actually like like they're just taking a while right now? Like they're actually like on a boat somewhere and they got like sidetracked or they actually like fell off the boat? Tommy Hong. No, they're under the sea. What are you, from Little Mermaid? Under the sea. What do you mean they're under the sea? How so they're in the sand? John, did you join your... <laughs> Wait, dude, freaking... What the? They're in my house. So these... So I'm going to show you guys what we got tonight. So we have this build right here. Um, so this is K Thrizzy's build, right? So... This is a GMK Stealth with the um, Kaze aluminum plate. Uh, this is the USB-C. So these are the new prototype PCBs we got. And uh, yeah, check out that plate. It looks pretty sick, right? Um, this is actually... So funny enough, apparently if you ordered from Dane Keeves like early on, you got whatever, whatever he had in stock. Uh, but I guess you had to order really early, so I ordered too late, so apparently mine are under the sea. But uh, K3Z ordered like super early, so he actually got his. So these are these are cherry-picked hyperglides. And dude, like... They're pretty solid. So, um, that's one build we're gonna do tonight, right? So one build we're gonna toss in to show you guys is hyperglides uh, on aluminum plate. And obviously this one can be O-ring mount as well. Um, the other build that I'm going to show you guys is uh, this build here, which is uh, V1 inks. This is V1 inks on aluminum. So kind of something we wanted to do for Kaze was to do uh, multiple builds, make sure that it, you know, uh, we didn't do just one build. And it was like, oh my God, this sounds fire. And then like, someone goes and builds it with another build and they're like, oh, this is shit. So trying to do multiple builds, make sure everything sounds good. How smooth are those bad boys? Dude, they're pretty smooth. They are pretty smooth. Oh, sorry, GMK Dark, my bad. Raz, you you, you got this. This is this is GMK Dark, not Stealth, my bad. Uh, it O-ring mounts? It sure does. So it's O-ring mount and it is a uh, top mount, right? And I'll go over that when I show you guys the case. But um, yeah, super happy with how the plate turned out. Razor green build? I freaking hope not. <laughs> What's up, bitter seeds? Um, 
fixed step. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> so uh, these two plates are actually the same, right? So this is kind of the the V2 plate that uh, that I made with a bunch of cutouts. It's it's quite nice. Um, but uh, so we got V1 inks on aluminum. We have hyperglides on aluminum. Then I'm gonna be building. Um, retool blacks on the old aluminum plate so not only do i like to change up switches uh but i also want to compare the new plate versus the old plate because i know the old plate sounds amazing but i wanted to see if i added some more flex cuts changed some stuff around see how much the plate really affects it so the old plate was blocked out pretty much not much flex um, and it sounded primo um, this one has more flex cuts Kind of a little bit more going on so we're going to compare um plates see which one i want to, we want to go with for the final build gotta hire a hit man yo applaud them for using what they like and then rob them honestly swear this will be the tkl of the year no cap dude i hope so i hope you guys like it as much as we do um but uh, so yeah so that's one build that's two build and the third build yes i am going to be building a build tonight uh that's going to be uh the old plate with uh retooled blacks cherry picked which in my opinion are just as good as these hyperglides so did you try putting the green pcb in the pc kaze wonder how uh wonder because pc oxalis ship with the green pcb Ooh. um i could actually do that if you wanted to yeah i have the uh Ooh. so we got this one kind of just as a uh as as it's not going to be an option during the group buy we got it just kind of to check it out so this is just normal pc um but uh i can put the uh the green plate in there and see if you want to look see what it looks like but uh but this one turned out pretty spicy my allegiance is being tested right now kaze and f2 what do i simp you can simp both it's okay i can share <laughs> So, uh, so yeah, this is the um, this is just traditional normal PC uh, with the brass. So um, we aren't going to be offering the normal PC just because I th I personally think the smoke looks cooler, looks better. Um, but uh, we're we are going to be offering the brass uh, weight as well as the brass badge here, right? This is actually K Thrizzy's build right here. So he wanted the clear PC. Yo, thanks. Yeah. Rem hey, uh, Moon, remind me to put it in there. So basically, Moon wants to see how the green looks. Um, the final PCBs are not going to be green. This is just um, a prototype PCB. So. Can I send you a thousand dollars worth of pickles for a Kaze? <laughs> oh my god. Even if you sent me five thousand dollars worth of pickles, <laughs> that would I would rather take like <laughs> I'd probably throw up to be honest. <laughs> Autobots roll out. Yo. We're good uh weren't you gonna try doing an infill on the badge like red or black? Oh, the infill was actually for the nerd nest. That was actually for the nerd nest. Smoke PC with a wob and a green PCB, please. Yo, that would actually be pretty lit. <laughs> did you guys bet on on when I was gonna start the build? I didn't even see it, so I can't I can't throw it. So don't yell at me. K three Z said I can have it. If he did, then I can have I can send it to you. <laughs> so if people wanted to get extras, would you, will you combine shipping in a separate order since the first come first serve craze will be real? Um, as of right now. Obviously, this is quite quite a bit off. Um, we're waiting till after Chinese New Year to figure how did that martini turn out, dude? Pretty fire. I'm pacing myself though because I'm already two shots in. Uh, but uh, I don't think we're gonna be doing um, any extras because it's all gonna be in stock. So basically, we're just gonna offer everything at once. Um, so there shouldn't be any extras. It should just be kind of one drop. A thousand dollars worth of sherbet gummy bear, dude five dollars like, what was it like fifteen dollars worth of gummy bears came in a huge ass box like this i don't have room for a thousand dollars worth of gummy bears <laughs> back from the club early wow what's up k3z uh quinn said that i can send this to australia is that true 
early for Kaze stream. No extra PCBs or plates. Oh, yes, extras. Oh, you're talking about that. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Extra PCBs and plates will definitely be available. 100%. 100%. Um, so that was kind of the cool thing um, that I wanted to do on stream as well, which I'm going to show you guys, right? So, um, <laughs> say it's true. I got 12, seven and a half, seven and a half ounce bags yesterday. Yo, it takes, a, it's actually a lot of gummy bears, right? Okay. So, uh, a little bit more information here, right? So what we're doing, so these two green ones, right? So this one, put this here. This green one here, uh, and this green one here, right? So these are both Heine H88Cs version 1.1, right? So these are actually prototype PCBs because they are actually the same as his other H88C, but we actually flipped, if you guys take a look, we had him flip the, um, the space bar. So the wire is actually north facing now instead of south, right? Because I'll show you right here. Uh, an issue a lot of the times with south facing is if you are going to O-ring mount, um, if the wire is right there, when that O-ring is compressed, it can actually push onto that wire and cause the space bar to act all funky, right? Um, but I do realize that Heine is going to be stocking um, a fair amount of H88Cs that are south facing as well. So I wanted to try, this is kind of the QC portion of the stream. I figured might as well do it on stream so you guys can see the little process that we go through as well. Um, I'm actually gonna be building a south facing H88C, right? So I figure worst case scenario, we can test it top mount. If it doesn't work O-ring mount, then we'll all know that, okay, south facing doesn't work. But if it does work, great. Either way, we're gonna have north facing available extras. So there's really no need on that. It's more so just for science. <laughs> Hopefully that all makes sense. Uh, we're doing the gunmetal build, not the PC. This is just for show, just to look at. What lube are you using on those space bars? So um, this one was actually the uh, XHT um, BDZ, right? So um, space cables actually, if you guys click the link in my, <laughs> dude, I sound so cheesy when I, I can't take myself seriously when I say that. But if you do if you do uh, use Lulstack's uh, code for space cables, um, they do have XHT BDZ, I think it's in stock. I'm not 100% sure. I think it is. You know, I'm kind of curious. Let me see. If Dennis were here, he would know. Space cables. Let's see. I know he sent me some, so I would th I would think they have some. Let's see. Uh, active sales. Uh, okay, sick. They do have it, actually. Let me show you guys. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. John, did Michael give you the entire container of BDZ? I was supposed to scoop a little bit out. Do you have this entire, this, do you have the entire container? Bro, that thing's 20 bucks. <laughs> yeah, can you, um, can you scoop a little bit out for me and then give me that back? <laughs> I just went to go grab it and I realized it was gone. <laughs> so uh, anyways, uh, <laughs> that's why John was so wholesome. He was like, wow, I'm going to be on my best behavior and hope no one asked any questions. <laughs> okay. I see what you did there. I see what you did there, John. Just steal his new board coming. <laughs> Which new? Oh, maybe I will. Maybe I will. John's pretty toxic, dude. Anyway, I was going to show you the, the BDZ, uh, but uh, I don't have it anymore. Um, if you do go to um, space um, spaceholdings.net, they do have it. Um, and I would appreciate it if you did use my, my coupon for Lowell Stacks, but you don't have to, obviously. What are you drinking, Lowell's? So we've actually just made this on stream. This is an espresso martini, right? I got these sick, like, double-walled martini glasses on Amazon. They're pretty cheap, too. Weird flex. 
All right, Chong, you know what? You know what, Chong? I'm a little bit upset that you sent me these because I want to wear them outside, but I think people are going to make fun of me if I wear these outside. What do you think? <laughs> these are these are going to be my new soldering glasses. I'm going to wear these when I'm soldering. I sent you two, one for Sandy. Which one are mine, dude? I think she'd probably look better in the red ones. I feel like I'm on taxi cab confessions right now. They match your driver's license well. Are you shitting me? You joking my ass, Ash Quabity? You better take that back. <laughs> anyway, these are my new soldering glasses, so I'll be wearing these while I'm soldering. I'm sure I'll be more accurate. Are you the creepy Willy Wonka? Dude, I love Willy Wonka. Look at that nose bridge top view. <laughs> Dude, okay, honestly, I thought it was, I got a little embarrassed because I don't know if you guys ever, I was talking to uh, mate. I see, I, as I say, Maze Grace, she just posted. Okay, all right. Anyways, I was talking to Maze Grace that, have you guys ever seen Carrot Top? The, the, com the comedian, have you ever seen Carrot Top? He basically is a comedian that has this, he does, his entire skit is basically this big trunk. And inside that big trunk, he's just got like a shit ton of props. Well, I'm starting to get like way too many props. And I'm starting to think that like, maybe I should be a little more serious of a streamer. Cause like I got like, he is jacked. He is jacked. <laughs> Dude, like I literally walk into my room and I got this, I got these. Stupid hat. I got. I got Groot. Like I'm apparently like. People are gonna start thinking I'm just like. Something's wrong with me if they walk into my room and see all this shit. <laughs> I forgot about that guy. Right? Whatever happened to Carrot Top? All right. Anyway, I'm gonna put these back in my my trunk. Oh, and then we also got the recorder, right? I'm waiting for the day someone walks into my room. It's like, dude, you play the recorder? No, nope, but I try. What type are you in TP? What notes do you like? What? Timo V2 PC. Oh, you did a typing test, Mr. Jinte. Okay, buddy. Okay, buddy. <laughs> Trying to deal with, derail the stream as always, huh? Why do I feel like Ryan's into some weird role, role playing? <laughs> Bro, that's what someone's gonna think when they see all my stuff. I mean, all my cool props. Play us a tune. Three elf f leaf. You do not want me to play the recorder. Your ears, I'll play the recorder when, when I solder. How about that? Why I always get flame. <laughs> all right, do I need to, should we do the typing test real quick or should we do it at the end, John? What do you think? Right now? I know someone that can play the recorder with something other than their mouth. <laughs> what? <laughs> How do you do that? <laughs> right now, no, now, I vote right now. Okay, we'll do it right now. Yes, hello. Can you please order 17 large pepperoni pizzas to uh, the home of Ramen Champ. Yes. Yeah, yes, I know. It'll go straight to his ass. Yeah, yes, I'm aware. Yeah, okay. But he likes that. Yeah, okay. 
All right. Anyway, sorry, I had to make a phone call. Okay, here we go. We got this smoke. I'll show you guys real quick. I'm sorry, if you come into my stream, I get made fun of so much that if I think of anything I can make fun of someone for, I'm gonna do it just to get back at you guys. <laughs> Massive dumpy. <laughs> All right, so this is a uh, PC. This is a smoke PC Teemo. Honestly, I've already praised this board so much. I really like this board. If you can deal with this layout, which for me, I'm fine because I usually hit my, I hit my backspace with like the corner of my pinky. I don't hit it over here. So I'm fine with a one U backspace. Um, I also like the fact that um, you have two full shifts, right? Um, but um, you got a little lat over here as well. The USB port on this board is actually super tight too. So I actually, I, I love this board. It actually has something very similar to, I gotta stop saying actually, I'm sorry. Uh, this has the the same, where is my, clean that off a little bit. This has that same kind of rounded front as the Dalco. See how the Dalco has that, that rounded front for your wrist right there? Uh, the Timo actually has the same thing. So Timo's is right there. Heine's TKL1 has that as well, but it's a little bit smaller. So, kind of cool. But uh, here's the bottom. So you have a mini shelf on the Timo. It's actually, in my opinion, it's 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 pretty, it's a good heft. Uh, I think that's part and parcel because I have, this is the brass weight as well as a brass plate. Um, I'm not a huge fan of brass plates, but uh, <laughs> nor am I a huge fan of tactile boards, tactile switches. But uh, this one actually has um, cherry browns. They're about 20 year old cherry browns, so not quite vintage, but are quite old. Um, so I have cherry browns on brass. And this is super, this is, out, <laughs> this, this board surprised the heck out of me. I was like, you know what? It looks so funky. I'm just going to buy it. I'm probably going to hate the layout. I'm probably going to want to sell it within a week and it's still here. <laughs> so I actually really like it. Um, and even the, even the, the, uh, the underglow looks pretty good on it as well. Right? So. I really like this board. So if you're if you're kind of thinking about buying this board, tactile on brass is pretty spicy. And I'll show you guys in a second here. All right. Browser source. Interact. Boom. That lat's so lit though. Right. <laughs> yeah, I can't use this board for work though, nor can I game on this board. Timo V2 is my favorite sub 60% board. I would agree. I would agree. Oh, hello. What's up, Taco Game? I'm surprised it's not a Sumi Lad. Dude, my Sumi Lad is on my um, on my Ibis, my Heine Ibis, which is still at work. So you guys are lucky. All right, here we go.
Pretty solid, dude. Pretty damn solid. I think I got this board for like 400 bucks aftermarket, like 400 bucks. So it's it's really, I think it's a steal. If you're looking at this layout, this is the board. How did that sound? Going so fast today. It's because of tactiles. Honestly, I type super consistent and fast on tactiles. I want a Teemo, but I would never use it. Kind of same. Are these 600 bucks now? Really? I'm pretty sure I picked it up for on someone posted this on like the mech market discord for 450 bucks. I think it was four or 450. So I think that's a steal. So let's check out the board. Yeet. <laughs> let's go. I don't know. I really like it. That thing is adorable. <laughs> I, I really is. Um, I, I like the Teemo way more than I thought I would. Browns suck. Send them all to me. Yo. Is that the Dalco? This is the Dalco. This is the Dalco. This is the one I built uh, last stream. Or two streams ago, rather. Um, I can do a typing test on this as well later on. But I think we should get to the Kaze. Ugh. We're already at an hour and 15. I haven't even shown the... I haven't even shown the board yet. Stop it. <laughs> brown color is the worst part of browns, right? <laughs> Bruh. Sushi, if you type test right now, give me history on the Dalco. <sighs> Speaking of which, Mr. Ramen Champ hit partner. Shout out to Mr. Tony Boy. Uh, he's doing a subathon. Is that next week? That's on Friday. Shit, that's this Friday. So, uh, apparently he's going to buy me some sushi. All right, I'll do it just, just, for, uh, just for Ramen Champ because, uh, you know, you only ever hit partner once, hopefully. <laughs> Come over, I'll buy you sushi. Yo, what a guy. All right, so I'll do a really quick, super quick um, rundown of the Dalco, and then I'll show you guys the Kaze. Um, so this was kind of a pre a pre run of the Dalco uh, in black wind keyless. Um, I also opted to get the let me get clean that off real quick. Uh, I opted to get the um, all the black ones came with the polished stainless steel weight. I, I had Lewis give me the the sandblasted because I still like the contrast between the two. So I think, I think I made the right choice on that one, at least for me personally. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so we built this up. Uh, this is O-ring mount at the moment. It can be top mount or O-ring mount. We built it up with, um, these are vintage blacks on aluminum plate. What did other Dalcos come with instead of brass? So the other ones came with, um, it was stainless steel polished. So they have, it's basically this exact material, but down here as well. Um, see this right here. I, I'm not a huge fan of, um, of fingerprints. It actually drives me pretty nuts. So uh, I figured if I had a bunch of fingerprints here, it would, I'd, I'd probably have to eat it. No, but um, so I actually like the contrast as well. So I got, um, I got sandblasted. So anyway, I'll give you guys a quick. So these are lightly lubed vintage blacks, right? So. These vintage blacks are already super smooth. So they're lightly lubed. So you're not gonna get that like super deep thock, um, but they're insanely smooth. So this is more, this is kind of more of a clacky build, but it's a good type of clack, I would say. I actually had K3Zy over today and he's like, this is the good clack. <laughs> so uh, he typed on this earlier today. So here we go. It is for sure Rice crispy. My jeans not had and shoes 850.
Oof, oof, oof. I went from a super stiff tactile board to a soft linear board, and it shows. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it, 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 it types super spicy, super spicy. Uh, I'm very happy with it. I think Lewis did a fantastic job, uh, as well as Mr. Dale Snail. But uh, I love that signature chalkiness that comes from blacks. Yes, that is why uh, cherry blacks are, I would venture to say, potentially my favorite switch. Inks, inks are up there as well. <laughs> I know not to believe today. Wow. <laughs> Very pog champion. So this is the only Dalco that looks exactly like yours. Uh, that is correct. Yeah, so this is the only Dalco that has a brass weight with the polished Toblerone. Unless someone somehow bought both Dalcos and swapped the weights. <laughs> is the Dalco the board based on a Porsche? It is indeed. What's up, DQ? PP. -p. Sir? I got all three Dalco. <laughs> all right, dude. All right, dude. Um, what are you doing, DQ? Is it cold up there or what? Oh yeah, facts, JJ back in SoCal, so lit. JJ's in SoCal? <laughs> I don't know, they don't know about that one. Which one, the fully polished stainless steel Dalco? Is that the one you're talking about? <laughs> Redeemed, okay dude. I see what you did there, Charlie. I ain't falling for that. I'm, I am an established, credible streamer and I will not fall for those antics. All right, we should probably get down to business, huh? Yo, Big Mac's onions. I always say it, Big Mac's and onions. <laughs> Has resubscribed tier one for four months. I told my friend I'd build a keyboard for him and stream it. So he went and got a barley corn. Yikes. <laughs> Bro, I would, honestly, honestly, I think the only time I would build a barley corn is if I was drunk off my ass on like eight shots of vodka. And then I think it would be like, just like hilarious to watch me do it. Other than that, I don't know if I could do it. Prediction, build starts when screws are taken off. <laughs> Bro, it's ne negative six degrees here today. Dude's like in the fifties today. So we got, um, this is how I do my retooled blacks, right? So I, I take out the smoothest ones. I baggy them up as the alphas. Don't laugh at my handwriting. There we go. We got the alphas there. I use the, um, these are actually desoldered from an older board. So I do have that, that MX uh, gray space bar switch that I'm gonna be using. So that's kind of cool. Um, the rest of these are still super smooth. Uh, just not as smooth. So this is going to be going on the mods um, nav cluster Efro, right? So that's what's on the docket there. How do you cherry pick them? Do you try them on a board? I don't. I actually just kind of hold them about yay distance and listen for scratch. <laughs> what are MX Gray? So MX Gray were um, switches that generally had a little bit stiffer of a spring and were generally found in uh, space bars on boards that were uh, say about 10, 20, 30 years ago uh, and even further. So uh, whenever you desolder older boards, a lot of the time they'll have an MX gray space bar, which is a little bit heavier than the rest of the switches. Shout out my brother Biso. When will you mod Topra on stream? Dude, DQ. I, all right, when, when all of K3Z's, literally, I don't know how much money he's just spent on Topra, but he sold like all his MX shit. So when all his shit comes in, I will, I will, <laughs> I will borrow it and I'll build on stream and I'll show you guys all the shit that he bought. <laughs> he's getting like high pro this and Japanese that, and I don't even know. I do know he got a Zonda, uh, Noxery XRF, I believe it was. Do you use the stock springs or do you swing swap? I spring swap. Stock MX blacks are too heavy for me. Um, my go-to spring. That. And I'm all out of the other ones, but these are my go-to springs. Um, I like these springs more than, I've tried pretty much every spring on the market. TX 65 gram or TX 60 gram are my favorite two springs. Um, I'm like super, I don't even know if you want to call it OCD or what. 
I'm super particular is probably a better better adjective for it. Um, I um, I will basically put the 65 gram springs in switches that are a little bit scratchier. Um, sorry, a little bit smoother, right? I'll put these in a little bit smoother. Then I also have for my super smooth switches, I'll use the um, 65s. Uh, for switches that are maybe a little bit uh, scratchier, like Retool Blacks or something like that, I'll go down to a 62 or a 60. Um, these are also kind of cool. These are the TX 62 gram slows. So they actually have the slow springs in now. Sorry, are these slow or are these short? One of the two. S stands for something. I don't know. I like them. <laughs> so TX are my favorite. Short. Yes, short. Not slow. These are the slow. I think these are the slow, right? The sprit. This this S is I think is is slow. I'm not a huge fan of the sprit. I thought I was, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm short and slow. I'm and small. Is that why you're always picked last in dodge? I'm sorry, that's mean. I'm sorry, DQ. Please forgive me. The S is short. <laughs> What's the S short for, Spooky? <laughs> Do you prefer TX springs over Sprit? I sure do. <sighs> this round we are changing Kaze to be Topra. Bro, K3Z actually asked me if we can make a Topra Kaze. I about spat out my drink. S is short for unscrew Kaze, yo. <laughs> All right, so we got our switches here. We'll move this up. I'm going to tank the rest of this real quick. Mm. Put this out of the way so I don't knock it over. Dude, last time I, I I put the shaker thing down there and I spilled coffee all over my carpet. No cap. All right. So here's our switches. Kaze Sport. Motor Sport. Kick that ass in Sport. Kaze Sports. Skirt, skirt. Shout out to Mr. Jinte. The only nice thing he ever did for me was send me this towel. Just kidding. Jinte's a great guy. Whatever Ramen says about Jinte, absolute fabrication. It's pretty real estate. <laughs> All right, here we go. Yo, Skater Dad, thank you for the follow. I guess this is where the nerd NRD splits off into ND and RD. <laughs> oh, whoa. Maybe, huh? When you grabbing the beer, though? Dead gun it. All right, I'll grab the beer. He sucks at League. I hate Jinte. Dude, I... <laughs> DQ, you'd probably like playing League with me. I'm pretty entertaining to play League at. League with, uh, except for when I yell at you. <laughs> Alright, so we got the O-ring here. Traditional TKL O-ring. Obviously, it's black. Um, I believe these are... Ooh, I need to double check, but I think this one was, what, 80? 60? One of the two. Go now, get it. I'm gonna show you guys the board and then I'm gonna grab it so you can look at the board while I'm chair streaming so you don't yell at me. Perry won't play with DQ anymore. Sounds about right. I don't have, X little man's not home so I actually have to go get my own beer. <laughs> Come play league with me, Ryan. We'll be toxic bros. Dude, I'm I don't even have a league account anymore. It got banned. I can't log in. Curse can, qual Curse can, uh, <laughs> I actually went to go play with Cursed, like, what was that? A couple months ago, and I went to log in, and it's like, you're banned. And I'm like, are you joking my ass? Like, I spent hundreds, I don't know. I've probably spent like three or $400 on stupid skins, and they banned me. What? Because I say a couple mean things to some people who deserve it? Come on. Anyway, so this is the, um, <laughs> Riot is definitely joking my ass. So this was the first rendition of the Kaze plate, right? So if you notice a couple things, I can't quite show you on on this one as much because it's built. Well, I guess I could, yeah, for sure I could. All right, so on the second rendition, we have um, pretty much, I'll show you here. So you got, uh, let's pop, pop this down. There we go, get some contrast going. All right, so uh, pretty similar flex cuts up top between the F row. You got the F row uh, and also the nav arrow cluster. Same deal. We don't have the flex cuts between these F, um, 
F switch clusters as well. Space bar, tiny flex cuts versus huge. Uh, same here for the wind keys, right? Big flex cuts, small. Um, also around the arrows, you have flex uh, switches, right? So this is similar to a matrix or an RS or Jinsole, right? They all have these similar flex cuts. We also have some here. Um, as far as the alpha cluster goes, you have one, two, none on this side. Uh, same deal here, you got one, two, none on this side. So those were kind of the different, what we wanted to uh, kind of uh, test the most was how having huge flex, um, not even flex cuts, uh, spaces, I guess you can call it, um, affected the um, typing experience. So uh, we'll, be able to, we'll be able to compare that. So what we have here on this build is GMK Dark. Um, we have hyperglides on aluminum, and today we're going to be building uh, retooled blacks, which for all intents and purposes are the same as hyperglides, uh, at least for this experiment, because I have um, cherry picked them, so they should be identical. If anything, I think my retools are actually a little bit smoother than these hyperglides. Um, no cap, uh, because these are <laughs> were cherry picked from like uh, maybe like 200 retools, so these are pretty fire switches right here. Um, so same switches, same plate material, but different plates, right? Additionally, what we're gonna test here, part of the Mean Girls, <laughs> what? Yeah, dude, you definitely can't sit with us, all right? Any reason why you went big cuts in the wind key? I hate that on PC wind keyless boards when I can see, yeah, we were just testing out for, for sound. So we got small ones here. So kind of wanted to see if that, how much it affected sound and feel. Fixed split right shift and backspace. Yes, so uh, we also wanted to, this is kind of my layout, right? So I like step caps, so I only put step caps. Obviously it's only 7U because it's wind keyless. Um, it is also fixed backspace and shift, but I would say, no one should be complaining about this <laughs> um, unless you're an ISO user or you're a weirdo that splits your backspace or shift on a TKL, which in fact, if you are one of those people, um, good news for you is uh, this is actually the same plate as a Jane V2 CE. So those plate files are public and Heine actually sells FR4 versions of this plate too. Um, I think for um, the group buy, I might add some uh, some configurability with that. Not sure yet. I'll probably I will for sure change the step, um, so you can run a normal normal caps lock on that. I'm not going to force you into step, but uh, I'm going to see what's going to go on over here. So that's kind of the current current state of it. Does this use the same plate mounting as Jenny? Uh, I. Th I think it does. I think it's the same as Jenny. I think Jenny is V2C. If, if Zekin's still in here, he can confirm. But um, are you still experimenting with unwipe plate option? We will be ordering an unwipe plate option for sure. I, I don't know if it's going to be offered in the current group by, uh, but um, we're definitely going to test that. I don't know how unwipe's going to react um, for a, a TKL, but we'll, we'll check it out. North facing space bar only. What's up, Jax? That is the other thing we are testing today, right? So, because it uses an O-ring, right? And I was explaining that uh, the O-ring can sometimes interact with the, uh, if you do have south-facing wire, it can kind of um, affect the space bar. But today, so we are, the, the PCB that's gonna come with Kaze will be this PCB here. It's gonna be north-facing, right? I do know that there's gonna be uh, extras of this, so you can probably get as many PCBs as you really want. But Heine also offers a south-facing space bar. Um, so I wanted to find out, this is kind of where the QC process comes in. I wanted to find out if in fact, a south-facing wire will get interrupted by the O-ring. So we're gonna find that out today because Heine has also sent me this yellow PCB, which, <laughs> which actually looks pretty fire. He's got the black on the sides as well for it, right? Um, and this PCB, I believe, is for 
the A-L-B-O-K. So we're going to be testing that out. If if this does not, if this does um, interact with the O-ring, then we're just going to use it as top mount. We'll, we'll still be good. Um, but if it doesn't affect the O-ring, I'll do an O-ring test as well. And for the future, you guys will know um, that you can buy a south facing uh, PCB. So those are kind of something that I was going to do off stream already, but I figure if I'm going to be building it, might as well stream it, right? That's actually how I started streaming. <laughs> I was like, you know what? Might as well stream a build. And it was history from there. <laughs> but uh, that's kind of ugly. Yo. All right. So I will put this here. I got to go grab my white claw before I get rioted. But I'll pop out the board for you guys to check out. The UTD is south facing and gummy doesn't interact. The UTD doesn't have the the um, the same semicircles on the bottom for an O-ring. How did you put an O-ring in the OT UTD? All right, it's designed for it. Really? The UTD the same as the OTD, right? The, the knockoff one. So in total, how many protos you got? The cutouts are where the case screws go. Interesting. All right, I'm gonna show you guys this real quick. I'm gonna go grab my drink and I'll be right back. Right, we're back. We got the uh, truly. Oh, look it. That actually <laughs> that actually matches the, uh, the ox blood a little bit there. It's meant to be. Uh, coaster, 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 coaster. Not white claw. I feel scammed. I ran out. I'm sorry. What are you gonna do? Which O-ring did you use for the UTD? Not gonna lie, it's stupid, I'm using it now. I built it up to give away, but probably gonna keep now. You like it, Jax? Urban Lime is continuing the gift of stuff they got from Toodle. Yo, Urban, I appreciate you. What's up, dude? The boys' room? <laughs> I sure, I got my Truly and I used the boys' room. Yell at me. <laughs> uh, the whole Truly Lemonade pack, pretty nice. I agree, I actually like it as well. If you don't put Binksu on this board, I'll choke my pet chinchilla. <laughs> Woof. Uh, well, we got multiple options here, right? So this is going to go... Uh, I'm probably going to be lazy and keep uh, this cherry, or uh, rather um, GMK dark on k Um I, I could put Binksu on this one here. 
And then what I was thinking was using a um, almost like a burgundy set for this one. Oh. <laughs> I don't have a chinchilla. <laughs> wow, what a troll. All right, let's take a look here. Boom. So, as a reminder, this is um, this color is not going to be offered in the group buy. I got it to match my nerd nest. Um, so these are actually this is the this is the gunmetal Pantone, and then this is the uh, oxblood Pantone um, from the nerd nest. Uh, the, the other color was this e white here, right? So. This color they had a ton of issues with at the factory, and that's the only reason I'm not gonna be offering it in the group buy. Um, they had to anno this thing five separate times to get this, to get basically no anno mismatch, right? This is a this is perfect. There's no anno mismatch on this. But if you were to have seen the first five pictures that they sent me, it was horrible. So it got to a point where I basically said, on the fifth anno attempt, if you cannot uh, match the top case with the bottom case, send me an e-white Kaze. And then they ended up matching it. So um, I, I don't think, I don't even know if they would accept an order um, for for this color in the future because it was such a pain in the ass for them to do. Um, I think it turned out fantastic, sadly. Um, so I don't think it's gonna be offered. So this is the, this this is actually the final Kaze, right? So everything turned out fantastic with it. PCB works good, sounds amazing. Um, I don't think that we're gonna be doing any, if we do any slight changes, it won't be anything you would notice. So this should be the final uh, rendition. So we do have that Koala curve right here. I was, um, I'm gonna kind of go over the board one more time, even though you guys kind of, it's probably a, <laughs> probably a huge repeat at this point. Uh, but um, I've always been a fan of the koala curve. A lot of boards will will be flat here. They'll do a koala curve and then they'll be flat like right here. I wanted this to come to like a sweeping point right here. I, I think it looks it looks aggressive but also classy at the same time. So I like that. Um, also, the other thing to note when you're doing a koala curve, a koala curve is how 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 big of a space you want between the uh, flat portion of the board and the koala curve. Um, so it took me a while to kind of figure out what what perfect distance I like, and that's about this much, right? So some boards will come down to here. Other boards, like the Timo, have a super a super shallow shelf, right? Um, me personally, I thought this was uh, my favorite, so that's why I went and made it about. I forgot what millimeter it was, but um, that's kind of why I went with that. The other change that we had is USB C. So the first Kaze was USB mini. So it had like, so yeah, look at that. There's, there's, there's no anno mismatch on this thing. Turned out really good. But um, on the original Kaze, we had a uh, USB mini. So it actually had the, the square, and then it had like another square around it. It didn't look as clean or flush. So, um, I think it looks fantastic now with just a small oval, right? Toy like a toyga. <laughs> so anyway, that's that was one of the other changes. Obviously, koala on that side as well, and uh, we maintained this super low front height. So if you guys have been watching my stream, you know that I am a huge fan of low front heights. Pretty much anything under 20, I'm okay with, but the lower the better. So this, I'll have to go back into my design, but. Um, I want to say it was like under 19, so it's it's quite low, right? Uh, and obviously, in order to accomplish that, we added the the zon ledge here, right? So you can see that you can see that zon ledge right there. I got a gyro and <laughs> a euro and three big ass pieces. Bro, how are you always eating so much? I'm so hungry. When did I eat last? Oh, I had Urban Ranch earlier. That was pretty spicy. If you guys are familiar with the San Diego area, that's kind of a branch off of Urban Wood, which is fire as well. So we have that Zon Ledge here, right? So the reason we added this Zon Ledge was, I'm talking a little bit more from the designer perspective here, but um, shout out to 
<laughs> I should just make a list of everyone who helped me with this board. Um, it would be huge. Um, but off the top of my head, I would say Perry, uh, Mr. Perry, uh, probably helped me the most with this board. Uh, so shout out to Perry. Zekin had a huge hand in it as well. Uh, Biso spent a ton of time with me on this design too. Uh, who else? Enigma helped me a bunch. Uh, DQ gave me his emotional support on this one. Um, <laughs> Mr. Wood, so Finderworks helped me a ton. If you guys saw the initial <laughs> a design of this that I sent to Wood six months ago, you'd probably laugh at it. So uh, it's been through the hands of a lot of smart brains. So uh, I'm pretty, pretty happy with how it turned out. And I'm not gonna take uh, even close to um, all the credit for it. So uh, Mr. K Thrizzy as well um, <laughs> had a huge proponent in this in that I would do a design, I would send it to him and he'd say, you joking my ass? That looks like shit. Back to the drawing board, slave. <laughs> and then uh, I'd go back and, and fix it and change it. And uh, this was kind of the final, <laughs> the final rendition and that we're both happy with. DQ's emotional support is making your mom jokes, pretty much. Yo, Thax, I'm pretty sure front height around 17, is it? It is quite low. I don't know if it's 17 low. I know it's between 17 and 19. Why is your drink on the PCB? It's on a coaster, don't worry. <laughs> um, the other change that we made was on the inside. Okay, so I'll get back to the Zon ledge in a, uh, in a second. So, um, okay, fine, I'll move it. My goodness. You guys are a bunch of girls. There you go, you happy? Uh, actually, yeah, let's talk about the Zon ledge here, right? So in order to maintain this low front height, right? Um, you have to have a certain distance between the bottom of the PCB and the bottom of, or the top of the bottom case. <laughs> what, is it worse now that it's on here? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So there is a, a distance between the, the, the bottom of the PCB and the top of the bottom case, right? Um, in order to allow for flex, in order to allow for um, enough gap, right? <laughs> I'm, I'm learning. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that. Don't say what? <laughs> so in order to uh, accomplish that, if you extrude down on this portion here, if you extrude down, uh, there comes a point where this will actually be too thin to, uh, it'll be less than one millimeter, right? So that'll be less than one millimeter and not manufacturable or machinable, sorry, not machinable. So you have to create this Zon ledge here that basically put adds material so it comes back up. So we add material here. All right, so you add material there uh, and that will basically, <laughs> why not just leave a hole like Oku? Dude, there is, a, there is one out there, isn't there? I'm heading to bed now, forward to, looking forward to watching the VOD for this. Yo, Dodo. I appreciate you. Yeah, F girls, what? What's up, Apiary? Mesa had a hole. Yes, it was Mesa that had that. So Mesa actually had a hole right here where you could see through on the bottom, right? Zon ledge, so big brain, yes. So anyway, uh, we added that Zon ledge here in order to uh, create enough material to where it'd be greater than one millimeter. So it would be machinable. Changasaurus gifted a tier one sub to apiary keyboard. Yo, what up, Chang? I can't depend on lols. Why did you lose points? I am a stickler for a low front height. I'm not that much of a stickler where I need a, a gap here, right? So um, the issue with adding a Zon ledge is you just added more material here. So you have to actually compensate for the screws, so th this hole here and this hole here um, are for the stab screws, right? And, and that's actually for if you wanna use uh, an LED on the space bar <laughs> for the pins, right? 
So um, if you are adding a Zon ledge onto your board, make sure you have enough room for these stabilizer screws uh, by adding these extrusions down, right? So that's kind of the, uh, the design behind that. Uh, additionally, the weight. So if you take a look at the weight, let me actually grab the, the uh, first edition Kaze and I'll show you one second. So here's a good comparison. So there's obviously no Zon ledge here, right? Uh, this was actually a perfectly fine working uh, board, but we wanted to create a little bit more space uh, between the bottom of the PCB and the top of the bottom case. In order to do that, we had to extrude this down, right? So you had to pull this, this portion, extrude it down that created a non-manufacturable portion here, non-machinable. So we had to add the Zon ledge, right? So you add the Zon ledge by um, adding material, right? Um, so we wanted to create more space here so that you, if you wanted to use a flexier uh, plate, you could, and it wouldn't bottom out as quickly as it would on this one. So that was really the only, only reason. The front height stayed the same. Front height stayed the same, everything stayed the same. Uh, but we wanted more space inside, right? LED on space bar. What's up, Tommy? Two hours in, still talking. All right, bud. Two hours in, you're still watching. I'm just kidding, DQ. <laughs> Please stay. Damn, the weight is hella bigger. So, <laughs> will there be a gold infill on the Kaze logo on the public board? Will there be a gold inflow on the Kaze logo? So this is actually a badge, right? So this is a badge that you can actually remove. Um, and we're gonna be offering different color badges as well. So that'll be cool. Uh, let me actually, let me grab that as well. So this was actually my first uh, prototype of the of the nerd nest, <laughs> which uh, was a black one. So if you notice, um, those are what those are the badges, right? So the, the left one is a polished stainless steel. The right one is a brass badge. So those are interchangeable here, right? Camera focus. There you go. So this actually comes out, and you can change it to whatever color badge you want black case with black badge would look kind of sick no cap yes it would yes it would stacks getting his cardio dude i've been chair streaming so bad today uh bro just got get all the kaze stuff in one go right uh typing degree uh i believe it is six and a half or seven degrees i think it's six and a half so all right anyway so the other thing that we did, if you compare the weights, right? So we made the weights a little bit larger on the inside. We also got rid of this logo here. This was the old NRD logo. Uh, so we got rid of that logo. We actually added NRD right here. I'll show you more when I take it apart. Um, but um, we changed the logo up and put it over here. So it's a little bit cleaner. Uh, we also added additional screws. So now you have four screws instead of just these two screws. So it's a little bit more stable on the weight. Um, is it just me or there's no music? Is there no music? Do I need to turn it up? Wow, Hochel, are you really trolling me? <laughs> is the badge flush with the top case or does it stick out? Dude, it is pretty damn flush. flush. 
music is good. Okay, thank you. <laughs> wow, dude. <laughs> music isn't lit enough for this build stream. Where's the house music? Dude, last time I put on house music, I, I got half my stream muted. <laughs> Kudos to Lolstax and K3Z for the attention to detail on this board. Yes. Uh, honestly, if if this didn't pass our uh, <laughs> our um, approval, I would not I would not allow it to go to the public. That's for sure. So, oh, those biceps, get out of here, Huru. <laughs> so, um, the other thing I've showed you guys before as well. Let me grab the PC one, and it'll be easier to show the weight. So, on the ooh, you know what? Wow, I'm gonna chair stream so bad. I'm gonna grab that smoke PC one to show you. So K3Z told me that I have the uh, smoke PC one, but I don't see it. <laughs> uh, I hope he has it. I hope he's trolling me. But uh, I did find the blue one. So this is the uh, the blue denim. This is actually with CRP Arabic as well. Okay, Thrizzy, do you, you do have the PC one, don't you? Bro, you just sent me on a wild goose chase. Wait, oh, this isn't Arabic. This is Peacock. Why didn't you give me the Arabic? <laughs> we had Peacock or we had Arabic on it earlier. My bad, bro. Okay, buddy. I'll let it slide. You're getting a dock and pay this month. So this is the uh, blue denim. I would be able to show you the three options that are available during the group buy, but someone trolled me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But uh, is Arabic still under your desk? No. k Frizzy has it. So uh, this this sanguine or uh, ox blood red, if you want to call it, is going to be available, uh, as well as this blue denim and smoke PC. Uh, the colors are confirmed. Yeah, so those three colors will be available. Yes. Uh, and I'll show you guys. The other option too is uh, you have an aluminum uh, weight and you have an aluminum badge. You have a brass weight, you have a brass badge. So brass weight, brass badge. And then additionally, show you right here. Let me just clean it off because of fingerprints. We have uh, a stainless steel polished badge, as well as my personal favorite, the polished stainless steel weight. So this weight's kind of unique in a sense that it's polished, but then it's sandblasted on the inside. So it really turned out fantastic. So those will be the options that are available. Um, additionally, one last thing was we changed. Oh, 
the amount of screws because we did add that Zon ledge. So uh, we went from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten to eight. So we removed this screw in the middle and then spaced out the screws a little bit. Polished stainless steel everything, yo. I think so, I think so. Can you explain the anode process on the gray one? Um, all I know is they had to dunk it in the anode bath five separate times to get no no anode mismatch, so. <laughs> uh, but the anode process was the same, uh, other, than, other than having to do it five times, it was the same as any other board. Uh, were you gonna do e-white finally? I thought you were explore, exploring that option on a previous stream. I was thinking about doing e-white. I would have resorted to, to getting an e-white proto if this gray didn't work, but it ended up working. Uh, when is the sale again? Uh, not confirmed yet. So this was the final prototype. So we're still doing a little bit of, um, of legwork, trying to decide what plate we wanna offer, um, what color, stuff like that. So plus they're on Chinese New Year right now. So there's kind of no rush. Did he say anything about if he's making the metal black for sure? <laughs> you really want a black one, don't you? What's up, Grace? How you doing? Hey, hi, how you doing? So gunmetal for sure. Uh, no gunmetal, no gunmetal. Um, but yeah, so, oh, let me grab that. That. And I'll show you one, one final thing that we did with the weight. Sign me up for Kaze, yo. All three colors look clean. I'm glad you dig them. I'm glad you dig them. I wish I could offer the gray because it's my personal favorite, but I don't even think the factory would, would accept that order. Can I have that gun metal then? Wow. You really want to take my own Kaze, huh? What's up, Krellbit? Two hours in, did I miss the stabs? Joke's on you. Stabs are already done, my dude. That blue is the way. Yes. So um, one final thing we did with the weight, right? So in reality, the actual weight is not that much larger on the, the fat section, right? So the actual weight is not much heavier, uh, but we, what we did offer was a, lar uh, a larger ledge, right? So that ledge extends further down here as well as up here and the sides, right? So there's, there's kind of an issue with um, some boards to where if you look through it, because on a lot of boards, the weight stops right there, you can actually see through to the other side. Uh, and I didn't like that. I thought it looked a little bit cheesy. So I got rid of that by adding a little bit of a layer here, right? So that not only did it accomplish that, but on the PC one, if you push down right here, if there's no extra material there to stop it, you can actually push the PC lower than the weight. And it's a little bit flexible here because it's so thin. I didn't like that either. Um, so that extended portion stops that from happening. It, it won't go down at all. So those are kind of two reasons why we added this ex extended bar down here, right? Anyway, that's pretty much, <laughs> pretty much it for the design changes. Um, but uh, yeah, we should probably we should probably get the building, huh? Two hours in, I got work tomorrow. My goodness. Jaguar PC has a huge gap. Does it really? Yeah, the um, this is why we prototype, right? Um, I was going to show you guys, I was actually going to grab the, the smoke PC Kaze because it has a gap. Uh, and, and if you push down on the PC, it actually goes below the weight. It's like a trampoline. Um, so it was a good thing that we prototyped it because that led to us adding this additional, um, kind of ledge right here. <laughs> Did you buy muted Mr. Pickleman? is muted up? Dude, I'm so bad. I'm, I literally only buy um gmk sets when people tell me to because i i can't keep up with them all <laughs> ryan super big brain i'm not gonna take credit I, I you can give credit to all the designers that helped me which i named earlier there's 55 minutes left on the gb are you kidding me i'm i, I don't think i can finish the stream in that amount of time <laughs> Any idea on quantities? Um, I believe we're gonna have at least 50 of these publicly available. 
So that's kind of the only thing I can guarantee right now. So let's get her opened up. Oh, I didn't even show the bottom, did I? So this one actually has the aluminum weight. <sighs> Let me clean this off. Uh, I personally, I personally, I actually like how this, the weight distribution of this with an aluminum weight. So, all right, let's get her opened up. Now my music has stopped. All right. Actually, I don't even need to take it apart because we already, we're gonna be using this old plate to compare, right? <laughs> There's 188 people watching for 50 boards. Oof. Ask one of your friends. All right, hey, k 3 can you buy me muted? <laughs> Better still be here. I'm gonna move, let's see. I'm gonna move the Dalco here. Oof. There we go. All right, so we are using Retool Blacks on this build. The Hyperglides are in the, the separate one here. We can, we can compare. Uh, oh, he's here. Hey, k 3 z can you, uh, can you buy me muted? Thanks, dude. So I do need to I do need to test the stabs on this because we are technically using a brand new PCB that I have not used with this plate before. Otherwise, I would probably just wing it. I for sure. <laughs> the yellow is cute. I think the yellow looks pretty cool. I dig the yellow. Crack and open some brewskis later. I don't even know if I've ever seen K3Z drink. K3Z, do you drink? All right, let's test some stabs here. I'm gonna move this. Boom. His wife doesn't allow it. Yikes. Nah, I'm pretty sure uh, she would. Let me see here. I'm gonna steal from this. He only spends money at the club. That's true. That is actually true. I'll make it rain. I'll make it rain. Nice. I see. South actually sounds quite a bit different than North. Let me try. Let me try an EP, or this is a uh, CRP. Maybe my, maybe this burgundy is uh, a little wonky. Thank you. 
That's crazy how much different south sounds versus north. What stabs do you normally use? I usually use Duroc. Uh, pretty much put Duroc in everything. I'm gonna try a different switch maybe. chat probably not dude everyone everyone tends to uh i think i've let them down too many times all right all right chilling on the stabs anymore dude I'm sorry come on look at the flex on the Dalka I don't know if you guys can see it on this or not it actually flexes quite a bit there you go see that flex kind of crazy look at that the whole cap almost goes under. Oh, Mayor says hi. Whoa. What's up, Sandy? I was I was looking down a little a little too much on that one. <laughs> I got distracted. I was neglecting chat. Say hi to Sandy. Wow. Ride doesn't even say hi, wow. Okay, 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 come on. Cut me some slack. Cut me some slack. My, my, uh, my espresso is wearing off now. Apparently, apparently, apparently one of these are for you. I don't know which one, but Chong said I only get to keep one. The other one's for you, so I don't know which one. <laughs> I guess you get the pick. You want extension cyan? Yes, 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 yes. Yes, uh, give me the cyan purple. The shapes on the space bar cut out big brain. I know, right? You better keep the bumblebee ones. Bumblebee? What? This is taxi, bro. Come on. He's actually copping? Of course. Come on, ramen, dude. Sandy, which ones are yours? So I don't, I don't, uh, I don't steal your gla your shades. I picked the red. All right. I guess I'm stuck with the taxi cab ones. <laughs> I've never seen that. the The take rate on the cyan purple accents has been absolutely wild. It's been above seventy five percent the entire group buy. Huh. Maybe people are buying it to use it with other sets. <laughs> so this is actually the one that I'm using the, uh, I'm gonna use that gray space bar um, on this one. So we're gonna remove that. Uh, now, mind you, this is going to be the, this is the test subject, right? So we're using a PCB that technically, at this moment, is not supported, right? So I'm going to see if it's supported. And we're using a first generation plate. So if this build does not work, um, we're going to be okay with it. Because we have two of the final builds right here. Uh, but this is more for just kind of, for science. <laughs> Ryan looks like he'd buy international kit just for Alt-GR. Curlbit, what are you trying to say, huh? 
Also, I'm on my last truly lemonade. You're welcome, Sandy. Oh my, I almost just spilled it. All right, we're getting these in pronto. Fax is really ignoring K3Z. Bro. Uh, extension plus cyan purple or just cyan purple. I don't even know what extension is. Just buy me what you think I'd like. <laughs> probably not, probably not extension. If I had to, if I had to take a guess. Come on, Katers, you know me by now. All right. We got the alphas in. Now, I'm gonna move on to the reject switches. Which are still quite good. I, I think Ryan would want 10 extensions. Could you imagine if he did that? Oh my lanta. This space bar is actually still kind of, kind of tripped me out a little bit. I want to show you guys the difference here. I can't tell if it's actually. Can't tell if the travel distance is lower. Nah, it's not. Making sure I'm not bamboozling myself. Where's your drink? If you are paying attention, I'm on my last truly lemonade. <laughs> They've lasted me this long. I already had my espresso martini earlier. And it's a work night. Oh my goodness. Also, tear Mer tear Mer tell Meredith I said hi. And ask her where her drink is. <laughs> he just finished his mar espresso martini today. Thank you, John, for standing up for me. Sandy said she thinks she left her scrunchie. Dude, please don't do that. Come on. I cannot have another. I can't have two of those in one week. No, there's nothing there. <laughs> I would probably, I'd probably cry. I'd actually probably cry. <laughs> no looking at chat when you start soldering. I'm gonna believe this time. Okay, Carlbit, I got you. I got you. Wow, this song bangs, yo. What are we at? 218? So don't be like K3Z and put one here. Bad, bad Mojo Jojo. <laughs> I'm, I'm a believer today. Wow, just today, huh? Okay, just today. Dude, Kaze actually so lit. What's up, superior kimchi? All right, there we are. So we got retooled blacks, which are cherry picked um, on a round one, clearly indicated here, uh, a round one PCB, uh, rather plate with a 
south facing PCB. I'm going to show you guys the issue that I think we're going to run into with an O-ring and why I think this might have to be top mount. I'll show you guys what I, what I, from a design perspective, um, what I anticipate happening. I have, but don't worry. I got ideas when Rye is least expecting it. What? Yeah, she was like, oh, it wasn't my fault you got drunk on stream. Yeah, well, you started off with the two shots of tequila and I can't back down from there, so. You guys, I usually only have one truly a stream, so you guys can attest to that. Did you really redeem the freaking Teemo hat? You, you joking my ass? Two more shots of tequila. Definitely not. I got gassed earlier. I can't do that again. I got work tomorrow. All right, so uh, let me show you what I think is gonna happen before I solder. Surprised there aren't 200 plus viewers for Kaze. Yo, I'm pretty content with the viewers here. You guys are, you guys are solid. It is kind of late though, huh? So this is the issue, right? So if you look under the O-ring, you have the, I'll show you right here. So the wire is right there, right? So when this O-ring gets compressed in, it could actually touch. Let me show you the wire right there. See the wire for the stabilizer? <laughs> stabilizer, <laughs> whoa. Uh, so that's kind of my, what my, my worry, uh, I hope I hope we can use a south south facing. If we can't use a south facing, um, then we're just gonna have to make um, extras available of the north facing, um, but we'll see. Timo hat redeemed. Yes, I know. Gummo mode is no more. But we do have, we do have this build on the new plate with the prototype PCB. So if you notice, it. The, uh, it, that, we don't have that issue on this one because the, the wire is north facing. Gift subs for tequila shots? Come on, John, I can't do that today. Mare and I just drinking some Beaujolais. Should I go get my Beaujolais, my wine? <laughs> you guys better tank that thing. It's been sitting in there for too long. Do you work from home or have to go to an office? Um, I actually go in, um, I actually go in uh, every other day currently, so, uh, which I actually like, because I, I feel like I'm more productive in the office, um, so I actually like that setup. Yo, how's the new snowboard, my guy? What's up, Champagne Stevie? Um, it looks nice. I haven't ridden it yet, sadly. I need to plan a trip. Are you going to announce when the group buy runs or if you do, it'll probably get botted out of existence. <laughs> um, yes, we will definitely announce it. It's not going to be for a while and we're going to do our best to combat the bots. Um, I have some, some ideas cooked up in my brain. So hopefully, uh, hopefully those come to fruition. Mayor, <laughs> please wear the Teemo hat. Mayor wants to see. Well, all right. Should I get to soldering? Cause I'll have to wear the Teemo hat. Uh, tell her she can't make fun of me. Otherwise, um, I'm taking back my foam. All right. And she knows what I'm referring to because I got some keyboards to ship and then um, she's not going to be uh, as um, successful in that department because there'll be complaints. Anyways. I'm a professional bot stumper. Yeah, maybe I'll hire Krellbit as my... Um, as my consultant. <laughs> maybe we'll maybe we'll just do all 50 Kazes available on Switch Mod. <laughs> and just call it a day. Just go to Texas, you can snowboard anywhere right now. People riding in the streets, right? Alright. Let's grab our soldering gear. What's up, lols? Yo, what up, Sam? How you doing? How you doing tonight? What are you doing? Hey, hi, how you doing? 
All right, let me put this here. Oh my God, I got too, too much stuff, too much sauce on my desk. Okay, no looking at chat. I will speed through this as quick as I can. Oof. I didn't I didn't even check the PCB yet. Hopefully it works. <laughs> Why am I so bad at checking my PCB? Well, it's fine. We got we got two functional PCBs, so we'll be chilling on that front. Okay. I am going to do ultimate solder mode. I'm gonna go as fast as I can. I'm gonna completely neglect chat because um, I have some believers this time. But first, I'm gonna use the little boys room. Alright, are we freaking ready? <laughs> Sub one hour, baby. I just got an invoice uh, from Kate Rizzi. I hope he's not overcharging me. Well, of course people want money from group buys. Usually I just want sets for myself. You just want the boxes so you can make forts. Should we start pulling on how many times he will use the Whittle boys? Why did I just say it like Whittle? The Whittle boys room? <laughs> you know, uh, I usually don't drink this much, so I got to use the little boys room, okay? Plus, I'm trying to hydrate at the same time. Um, are you making fun of me for having a small bladder? That's funny. All right. Okay, so for tonight's... <laughs> don't forget your fan. Thank you. I'm kind of scared to plug this in. I hope you guys don't go kaboom. Okay, we're good. <laughs>
Is it better now? Bro, I'm telling you, I can't use this fan. Is it better now? <laughs> is it fixed? Bro, I can't I told you it was gonna go kaboom. I told you. This thing is cursed. Dude, I... Do I just solder without a fan? I'm scared. We're back. <laughs> I'm scared. Do I solder without a fan? <laughs> okay, let me try something here. How, how does my micro... Okay, hang on, hang on. We got this, we got this, we got this. Okay, all right, I think I think we're good now. I think we're good. I think we're good. Is audio out of sync? No, nah, it's good. God Dream, don't do that to me. Yo, Nyx Clicks gifted five tier one subs. What's up, buddy? Shout out to GMK Lavender. What up, dude? I appreciate your gifted subs. You gifted a sub to some nucking foob? Yo, what up, Nick? Mare says you need to burn that hat immediately. You tell Mare that I'm gonna be wearing this hat next time we go to Wild Goose. I am not joking about that either. Okay, where's my glasses? I gotta wear- I'm gonna wear Sandy's glasses because uh, they gotta match the Teemo ones. Is the slightly audio desync? Like super slight? Is it? I hope not. Let me clean my glasses, hang on. I'm going, I'm gonna, hey, okay. Let's be honest here, guys. If I go out to the bars like this, do you think people would make fun of me? Or do they? would they be like, that is the flyest dude in the room? What do you guys think? You would get free drinks for sure. Nice. <laughs> totally normal. You'd get kicked out. Okay, Hochella. Are you ever making NRD wallets? That is definitely, uh, definitely possible. Raz, are you using a shotgun mic? I'm using the same mic that uh, Teha uses. I believe it's a shotgun mic. Sexiest guy on the freaking earth. Yo, Darian. All right. <laughs> what the? Kimchi, Jody boy. <laughs> All right, so, uh, you know, then, then, I'm gonna bust out, I'll be like, hey, gather around, gather around. I have a song to play. And on that note, it is soldering time. Here we go. I hope you guys liked my song. I've been practicing. My recorder skills are definitely better than my Korean skills at this point. I really hope my stream doesn't cut out when I turn this fan on. If it does, well, it's been nice knowing you guys. <laughs> you look like Roy Purdy. Do I even wanna Google Roy Purdy? Girls will buy you drinks. I hope Sandy buys me a drink, because I'm going to be wearing this next time I hit the bars. <laughs> Yo, where's the Spotify link? Bro, everyone asked me about this song. I think it's just like the hip-hop YouTube. I can link it in the description below. Make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. Make sure you hit the bell for notifications and use my discount code on aisle 5 at the checkout. <laughs> Make sure you bring your uh, coupon clippings from this, this week's newspaper ad. Okay, here we go. I'm sorry. Here we go. All right, Krellbit said I can't talk to chat because he bet on me. I, dude, I can't even see. These are too dark. I can't even see the board. I didn't even... Wait, 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 wait. I haven't started yet. I haven't started yet. I need to make sure the pins are good. Oh, Roy. 
right, I think we're ready to roll. You're a wizard, Harry. It's time! All right, here we go. I hope I don't burn myself, because I'm not gonna be able to see. Please do not burn yourself. <laughs> you know, I do it for the I do it for the vine. Okay, here we go. What are we at? 937. Are you kidding me? I haven't been here for a while dealing with some things. Oh, yo, what's up, Jofer? Do the hyperglides feel marginally better than retool blacks? I would say uh, yes. But I would also say that these retool blacks being cherry picked are smoother than these retool these uh, cherry picked hyperglides, uh, just because I cherry picked from a larger batch. Okay, John, Mayor asks where your accent is from. Which accent? I'm a man of multiple accents. Which one does she like? And I seriously with that DM? Are you joking my ass? You bet your bottom dollar. You bet. You better be proud of that. Okay, here we go. I, I'm not allowed to talk to chat, Krullbit's orders, so I'll see you guys in like five minutes. My arm's getting cold having the fan on the left side. <laughs> oh my god, do I really look this ridiculous right now? It was Irene and Adam in your channel, right? With Krelbit and Zek, I'm shy. Shao Shao, we know you're shy. Come on. Dude, this feels so weird with the fan here. My good. Oh! Oh! Please say Kaze so lit when you are done. You bet your bottom dollar I will. Krobit stinks. Yeah, you tell him. Oh my god, dude. I forgot how long it takes to solder a freaking TKO. I don't have the patience for this. That's a really nice fume fan. Are you making fun of my fan, dude?
This is really hard. To, I'm I'm actually uh, super thankful that <laughs> I'm super thankful this PCB is yellow because if it were like black, I would not be able to see it. All right, what time are we at? Two hours and 40? I had a lot of fun doing marbles last time. I kind of want to do a marbles uh, as well, if we have time at the end. I still have a bunch of stuff to give away. Although I might have to eat on stream to make it to that. <laughs> this is my dude right here. What's up, Max? What's up, dude? I was actually I was actually a little bit a little bit sad that, that you were streaming the same time as me. Or I mean I was streaming the same time as you because I couldn't watch. Where was I? Rip my points as man zoom in now he's boomering. What? Is that good or bad? Am I going fast or slow? I don't even know. Cause it's my super short show. You get high off marble giveaways. <laughs> Maybe. Oh my god. Oh my god. You guys are putting way too much stress on me right now. You don't go faster, I'll redeem the leaf typing test. Whoa. Rip the world record? Dude, that world record was on a 60. Come on, dude. My song changed. I'm gonna get DMCA'd. Check your server gallery when you're done soldering, dude. I don't like those. I don't like those comments. I don't wanna check, I'm scared. We're about uh, three fourths done. For all you uh, baseball players out there, we are in the uh, home stretch. Sorry, seventh inning stretch. <laughs> Oh, 
didn't see you there. He's gonna troll the last switch. Distracted by my phone? No. What's up, Warren? Meezy does it. Muted stream incoming? What? Why you say that? Uh-oh, I'm getting sleepy. Oh, muted from the DMCA. I got gotcha. you. should put muted on the maze what all right everybody who wants Ryan to solder over the follow my lead camera for oh dude get out of here dude I seriously forget to put in a switch and no one told me? I forgot to put two switches in. Shame. 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 can't see this board. <laughs> Alright, done. You happy? Are you happy now? Oh. Gonna... I don't know why. I don't believe. It should work now though, right? <laughs> it's working? Oh, how? Dude, it's this fan. I'm telling you, it's this fan. Get out of here. Get, get. I'm gonna get, 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 get you drunk. All right. Thank you, Groot. It's been a pleasure as always. pins no missed pins that's what i was looking for we got no missed pins um it's definitely not my cleanest soldering job but uh that's okay <laughs> i was a little bit handicapped so we don't have any missed pins cruising can you say porsche love music yo all right sandy i sure can let me get my one second here 
I'll, I'll do you I'll do you one better. I'll do you one better. Alright, if you guys want some fire beats, check out Porsche Love Music. I linked the YouTube there. Also, I believe on Spotify. Can we have a challenge? Channel point perk for having Groot be on your shoulder all stream. What? I need that. I don't know. I might have to give Groot back sometime. I've been, uh, I've been hogging. <laughs> you need a Lego account? Ooh. Why does he look like you? <laughs> hey, Meredith. Uh, Mr. Austin thinks that uh, that your brother looks like me. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Alright. So we got uh, one build here. <laughs> we got build number two here. And we got build number three here that we're going to test out. I'm gonna go wash my hands and get the soldered boogers off. I'll be right back. Okay, we back. I just need something to match my 356 Speedster. A real life one or a, or a Lego, Mr. Jigsaw? I really want to buy it. We'll think about it for a bit. Are you coming Friday 9 p.m.? Is that a public thing or is it, is it supposed to be kept a secret? So here are the builds that we are trying out. So we have the, this is Hyperglides on aluminum with GMK caps. That's build number one with the new plate. Build number two, we have V1 inks, aluminum plate with the prototype PCB. This is the second rendition of the plate. And then finally, third one, we have Retool Black's aluminum version one plate with a south facing PCB, which we do not know yet if this is supported. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it said special guest. I don't know if that's uh, announced, but you know. <laughs> I'm kind of, I'm kind of sad. Look what's happening to my coaster. Okay, anyways. I think uh, first off, I'm going to try this one because we already have caps on. So 
So this is the Hyperglides Aluminum GMK. Can I get a yes or no? I think so. I don't know, Ramen said he was gonna buy me sushi. I don't know if I could turn down free sushi. Coaster has character now, right? What the? What the? What is, this is my brand new Grove made top. What is this from? There's a square here already. What the? white rubbing off I sure no I, I put mine right oh I almost knocked that over it's always right here I don't know what that's from no that's I don't know I'm pissed so um, for the uh, fellow that was asking earlier uh, this is actually a badge right so um, clean this off so that actually screws in just like that so you can actually change the badge to whatever color you want. And I think we're gonna, uh, our plan is to eventually offer like super fun, like funky colors for this uh, and sell badges um, separately as well. Um, that was one thing I always wanted for my queue. I had a queue back in the day and I always wanted like a bunch of cool colored badges, but no one ever had them. So I think my, um, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna sell these badges separately just a bunch of random cool colors. So I think that'll be cool. Like this, this would actually look pretty sick with lilac as well, this gray, so. All right. So are we gonna try, let's see, should we try top mount? Should we, let's just go O-ring. Let's go straight for the O-ring, huh? So this is, keep in mind, this is a prototype PCB on a new plate going into a prototype board. So cross your fingers with me. Take one more look at the inside here. Let me clean this off a little bit. Muted is over. Thanks for keeping me awake long enough to be able to close the GB. <laughs> you got it, dude. If you didn't join Muted, then don't bug Crawlbit when it when it uh, when it ships, because you had your chance. You'll probably have to clip the PCB on the south facing one to fit it into the case because it wasn't meant to use the south facing PCB. Oh yes, you're right. So what Perry is referring to is, uh, let's see. Yeah. So what Perry is referring to is, um, is this right here, this right here. Um, basically is what's going to stop us from a lot of boards will actually have an indent for it. We have an indent for, uh, looks like one of them, but not the other one, right? So if you're looking here, we're going to have to clip that one and we're going to have to clip, uh, that one because there's an indent there and there's an indent there. So we'll have to clip these. Pog champion. Did I miss the sound test? You did not. What's up, Dennis? All right, so we already have the O-ring on here, right? So O-ring goes uh, basically around and in between the PCB and the plate, right? So we're gonna try that out. Cross your fingers. So that sits just like that. And let me show you guys what we did here. Um, Perry, oh damn, dude, they actually look sick with this plate. Wow. Oh my, and these caps. What the? 
dude. So uh, Perry actually helped us a ton here. And let me show you exactly uh, what we did. Um, if you notice here, this is what I was referring to. So this is where the, this is where the sta stabilize, oh my, why do I keep calling it stabilizer? Stabilizer screw is, see how it butts out right here? And it butts out right here. So what Perry did was he helped us basically cut into the bottom case so that we could continue to use screw-in stabilizers. Because generally speaking, you'd have to use a snap-in because you get this little bow right here. So we made, we made room for the bow, right? Because I didn't want to say, oh yeah, you have to use snap-ins. So we'll, we'll, we're, we're testing that out. So Perry helped out a ton with that. Obviously with the whole rest of the board as well. All right, so... We're doing O-ring mounts, so no no top mount, no screws. Wow. That's slick. Um, now I'm gonna grab, let's see. Yo, gym leader Nathan, subscribed for six months, currently on a six month streak. Let's go, dude. Kaze so lit, what are you doing? What what are you doing tonight? Did you, how, how were your McDonald's openings? I was watching some of them. So for O-ring mount, I usually like to brace it on two books like this. Uh, we got, we got The Prince by Mr. Machiavelli. Let's go. And then we got, uh, we got The More of Less, which is a, a minimalist book. So there we go. Those are our friends helping out today. So we're going to flip this over. I'm going to place it on the edges. Uh, this isn't necessary, I just like to do it. Makes it easier. And I, I make sure I basically have a uh, an even uh, fitment around. Can you give me a quick TLDR of those books I can't read? Oof. Check out Spark Notes, bro. One's about minimalism, the other one's about uh, advice to a, <laughs> to a prince. <laughs> McDonald's openings lit as AF so far, but only got one hollow Pikachu after 86 packs. Damn. So if you guys noticed, um, on the first Kaze, it didn't have those indents, right? So if you look, um, on the first Kaze, there's no indents for that. Look at all this dust. Oh my goodness, it's been sitting. Uh, there are no indents for that stabilizer, so it was it was like super hard to compress uh, the top to the bottom, right? Uh, it still worked, but it wasn't it wasn't a nice building experience. Whereas if you notice with this one, the top and the bottom kind of conjoined super quick. So look at that. So now we did I did this corner, I did that corner. Now I'm gonna do this corner and this corner. Kaze abuse, all that. Someone called the Kaze police. <laughs> GMK Darks look, looks a lot more gray than I was expecting. It is pretty gray. So now I can ditch the books. And put the rest of the screws in. Rushed home from a gender reveal so I can watch this last Kaze. Dude. Let's go. What did they do anything? Did they do anything funny for the gender reveal? I've seen some uh, some pretty funny Instagram uh, uh, videos about butchered gender reveals. <laughs> Battery about to die. On what? Smoke PC had that, I believe. I love that book. Mirror finish, weight, and badge. Yes, yes, I agree. Sadly, I can't swap out uh, the weight or the badge from the previous one because we changed them. So that's that's really how easy that was, right? So just adding those indents where the space bar is um, made it way easier to close the case. So shout out to Mr. Perry for that. Let's take a look. Wow. Uh, I was actually expecting GMK Dark to look a lot more dark, but um, it's almost a perfect match. That's kind of crazy.
best thing to do for a gender reveal is to open up a set of GMK8008 and if it's blue mods boy, pink mods girl. Damn, that's actually really good. Hey man, how you doing today? What's up, up Kale? Doing great. So this is, uh, we're, we're building the final, the final rendition of this board, which I started designing almost a year ago now. So this has been a year in the making and we have finally landed on the final prototype. Uh, I did not want I did not want to put out a board that wasn't fully um, inspected and fully thought over. So I think we're there. I was hoping it'd be something wild, but my boy works at USPS. So they put the balloons in a six by six foot USPS box. All right, that's all right. <laughs> Best thing to do. Uh, da -da. <laughs> Shut up, Joseph. Wow. Don't talk to Jinte like that. He's had he's had enough abuse. <laughs> You don't even respond to my DMs. Yeah, right. So sad Burgundy Badge does not is not gonna be in the buy. So, um, we will actually, I was talking about this earlier, Jente. We're actually gonna be offering a bunch of different colored badges. Um, I think at some point, probably not in the initial group buy, I think it's gonna be more of an extras thing. Um, we're gonna be offering different colored badges. So um, I would be very, very shocked if I didn't, if we didn't offer a, a burgundy badge. So I think that will definitely be offered separate from the group buy and as an add-on. So anyway, so that's the, uh, there's the top side profile. Bottom there. USB-C. And there we go. All right, let's get her plugged in. Ooh. Uh, let's put this. Yep. All right, so to paraphrase, recap, this is hyperglides, aluminum plate, GMK uh, dark. Did you ever think about making the body like the ogre? Um, I think eventually, probably work on a um, on a seamless design. But uh, for me personally, with the koala curve, I like I like a seam on the side because it adds a bit of character, in my opinion. All right, let me just double check this PCB works good. This is actually K Thrizzy's build, so he had this build in the uh, the PC. Kaze. So I took it straight from his, put it in mine. I just want to make sure uh, he knows how to solder. I'm sure he does. <laughs> Boom. Chilling. Lakers in five. Yo. Do you prefer a Winkulus or Winkey for 60%? Ooh, honestly, it really depends. My Ogre, I actually like the uh, the Winkey better, but for the Dalco, I like Winkulus better. So it really depends on the board. Yo, what's up, Titan? Don't need ad when you got Caruso is the goat. Yo. Or AD, huh. What the? Why do I have 150 freaking messages in this group chat? Get out of here. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Typing test time. Have you ever made an all black keyboard? Um, have I ever made one? I think I, I think I, I've done a, yeah, my HHKV. <laughs> uh, I don't think I've had, uh, I could technically put this on the, um, on the Dalco and it'd, it'd be kind of, I, I could put white on black on the Dalco and it'd be black and white. Tony unmute. No, it's all freaking. I didn't read any of it. What do you mean? I'm streaming. How am I supposed to read 150 messages in your group chat? <laughs> Get out of here. All right. 
Uh, da, 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 browser source, there we go, interact. So this is actually my first time hearing this as well. And let's give it a whirl. Wait, did we bet on this one, John? Did we bet on this one? You're a coward. <laughs> yes, hold on. Oh, I have to hold on. Okay, sorry. Hands off the keyboard. Don't arrest me. <laughs> lose for me. What does lose mean? Does lose mean go above or below? Okay, you're good. All right, let's go. So this is uh, Cherry Hyperglides, right? Cherry Hyperglides, aluminum plate, prototype PCB, final prototype Kaze. Let's take a look. Bro, what springs are on these? They're so these are so these are so light. What was the over under? What was the over under? Don't tell me it was 125 again. Oh my god, it was. <laughs> oh my god, bro. I couldn't even do that if I tried. <laughs> Dr. Huru, noise. Thank you for the 100 biddies. Damn, these are really these are really uh K Thizzy, if you're in here still, what what springs are these? These have got to be 55 or 60. Are you shitting me, <laughs> Sandy? Did you lose? <laughs> are you joking my ass? 50 gram? These are 50 gram? No. Can we hear that backspace? Yes. Here we go. So I'm gonna check out the mods for you guys. I'm gonna unplug it. Sandy, did you lose? Here we go. Uh, Saint, wait, is it, is it over? Oh, it's over 125. I thought it was 125 and over. Yikes. I take it you lost. <laughs> I lost. I had faith. Well, you know, I tried. All right. I, I, maybe, maybe I should stop looking at my phone. It's distracting. Maybe I would have typed faster. Kaze kind of lit. What's up, 10 Clueless? I missed the stream. No. Yikes. Huh. Dude, not gonna lie, these mods sound pretty fire on this new plate. Take a look. Pretty damn solid. You owe me more Lady M cake as you're eating your Paris baguette cake. Sounds a little spoiled to me. <laughs> <laughs> What's this build again? 
So this is um, GMK uh, Dark on Hyperglides, which are basically nicer Cherry MX Blacks um, on an aluminum plate. And Boba, wow. Okay. <laughs> Will you be selling badge only if I can't afford? So, okay. I'm gonna give you guys a little, a little bit of a secret here. A little bit of a secret that I've been working on. So, I know I'm a little bit of a dork. You don't have to tell me, but I'm a little bit of a dork. And um, I, I'm a huge fan of um, like custom jewelry as well, right? So, what I'm planning on doing is, let me show you, where's my other? Hello? Oh yes, so if you take a look here, I'm gonna do, uh, I, I like to create things that I want for myself, right? So that's kind of how the Nerd Nest was, was born. Um, I don't have a ton of artisans. I wanted something I could keep on my desk and just put some lats in, right? So that's how this was born. Um, I'm gonna be, we're gonna be doing a large run of these as well. Um, so if you, if, uh, I just did a small private first run of it just because I didn't, I had no idea what it was gonna turn out like, right? And it turned out fantastic. Um, so I made this because I had a need for it. Um, K Thrizzy and I also made this because we wanted to create a TKL that we were, you know, quite proud of. And I, I kind of saw, um, an opportunity to, to block this and put a badge there. I was, I was pretty surprised that no one had done that in the past, given that blockers are so popular on, um, 65% boards. Uh, I thought this was the F13 was kind of the perfect opportunity for that. So I saw a need for it and that's kind of where Kaze was born. Um, I personally think it'd be super dope to, if you take a look here, so this is the polished stainless steel badge, right? And if you look on the back, there are these kind of, this is where it screws in. Uh, and then it's got these kind of alignment tabs here. Um, what I eventually want to do and what I'm working on is creating a, uh, a holder. I don't know if it's going to be a triangle or, or a rectangle, but it's going to be a holder for this. So what'll happen is it'll be a holder that this will screw into and then it'll have a bail so you can wear it uh, as a necklace. So I think that'd be kind of cool because I, I have, I, I personally am going to want to buy like, you know, 10, 15 different colored ba uh, badges. Um, and I don't want to just sitting there. I think it'd be cool to be able to take out the badge, right? And put a different color badge into the, the holder. So you could have different color necklace, right? That's kind of something that I'm probably going to be working on by the time we order Kaze and the Kaze delivers. So it's gonna be cheap. It's just gonna be a holder for it, but I think that'd be kind of cool. Um, I, I wanted it for myself. So if, if you guys like it too, I'm gonna offer it. Um, K3Z says he wants to rock like eight of them at the same time. I don't know about that. <laughs> I know a jeweler who could do that. Yo. So that's kind of the uh, the thought process there. And this is, what's this with the brass plate? Uh, the brass badge looks like so I think it'd be cool if it kind of inserted into a little holder to wear it as a necklace right so anyway that's kind of little things that I've been working on I'd wear a Kaze earring yo can you make a badge for a belt and wear it like the Oku belt yo <laughs> wow I should huh do you have a YouTube um, I'm working on a YouTube actually so I, I'm gonna start doing typing tests for the YouTube uh, for the tube but uh, not quite there yet. I've been so busy with so many projects. 24 karat gold badge? Ooh, that would be sick. That would be sick. Can you imagine a 24 karat gold badge uh, by Maze by Grace in an e-white board or a black board? That would be pretty epic. Kaze rings? True, true. So anyway, um, so I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. Sounds pretty solid. Listen, listen to this number row. <laughs> Ryan's YouTube is just K3Z's pretty much, <laughs> pretty much. So um, I think what I wanna try next is um, the inks build, or maybe we should try let me see. What do I have? Mm. 
should we try? I know we can try. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. We're gonna do the inks build next. Kaze forehead piercing when? Kaze tattoo when? <laughs> Best sounding numro I've heard. Yo, thanks, dude. Out of curiosity, do you ever use anything other than cherry black or gap black ink? Seems to be your thing. New builds starting now. Yeah, so we're gonna put this ink build in. Um, I do. So my like TKL one has. Um, you gotta do ty leaf typing test later. I will. I will. I saw Shiba get that. Yo, Spectrum. What's up, dude? 1,500 biddies? Let's go. How you been? Hey, hi, how you doing? What's up, dude? Congrats on amazing final proto. Yo, thank you. Thank you. We're super stoked on it. I'm, I'm super happy how it turned out. I'd put the Kaze badge in my forehead like Lil Uzi Vert. Like, like Iron Man, have it have it in the middle there. <laughs> it sounds amazing. Yo, don't make me blush, dude. Come on. <laughs> Can I get Kaze pierced into the center of my forehead? Yes, do it. Just do it now. Um, so, bed night, good night, right? Wow, 10.30, what a grandma. All right, all right, you can go. <laughs> On your upcoming YouTube, can you make... Bye, good night, good night. Kaze sounds so Kaze. Do a raffle system. Yeah, it'll be something legit, don't you worry. On your upcoming YouTube, can you make a room tour? Does that, that means I have to clean my room. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm, I'm a clean. I'm very clean. Um, let me grab the board that I'm going to steal the caps for for this. going to be stealing from the RS. I'm very sorry, Mr. RS, but I want your NCR die subs. They are belong to me. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Oh shit, so lit. I love a good tear. What up, Tempest? It's mainly because I don't want to sort through. Uh, this is a lot faster than going through a puzzle of a, of a Tupperware box of, of keycaps. So this is really in the essence of time. RS has dignity. <laughs> oh. All right, so build number two, we are using the same, uh, the same newer piece, um, sorry, plate. Same version two plate. Uh, these are version one V1 inks. So they're quite smooth. Um, I would say they're pretty moderately lubed. They're still, still pretty poppy.
the color on that plate though, right? So this is actually like one of my favorite colors, like honestly, like outside of keyboards even, right? It's kind of like that ox blood red. I'm a very like kind of darker red maroon type of person. So clearly it shows. Cordovan color, yes, yes. Is that how you pronounce it? Is it Cordovan? I always see that with the uh, leather, right? Is that KA or Dice Sub? This is NCR Dice Sub. Uh, with the uh, R5, right? Those Kaze renders on Dribble are legit. What's Dribble? Am I a boomer? It's cardivin, as in wine. Oh, so that's the color. I got it. Got it, got it, got it. Dribble.com. Are you trolling me? Do I is tro is dribble like a, a porn site or something? I think Dale post on dribble. Ah, gotcha. Okay, so it's safe. <laughs> Oh, the original, the original ones, got it, yeah. So Dale did the original, Dale did the original uh, Kaze renders. Okay, let's get her back opened up. Uh, I don't I don't even think we need to try top mount, right? Um, personally, for this board, um, in the aluminum one, I think that the, uh, they both sound quite similar. I think it's more of a feel thing, right? So I, in the essence of time, um, I'm not gonna do top mount just cause I have three builds to try. Um, I personally feel like they sound quite similar. Uh, just the O-ring feels softer. So if you like a softer typing experience, the O-ring's probably up your alley. Uh, if you want that kind of more rigid um, feedback typing experience, maybe the uh, top mountain better for you. But that's the good thing about this board is you can do either. Where can I cop some OG die subs? Uh, I got these ones off of, um, where did I get these? These were actually local or not local in the U S there was a guy that had like a ton of them. So I pick some up, Perry picks them up. K Thrizzy picks them up. I think a couple other people picked them up from the same guy. All right, so this one's coming out. And the new one is gonna be going in. Oh. Does it stand for NY Chemical Romance? <laughs> Yo, I actually love the Chemical Romance, my Chemical Romance. Um, I don't know what N I think NCR was the was the was the board, right? The actual board name. All right, so we are going to be taking the O-ring off of this one, and I'll show you guys how easy it is to put it on. Uh, I kind of designed the plate so, in the past, um, there was I've had like some plates where the O-ring was like super hard to get around the USB connector. So I made a bigger cutout on the USB connector and I'll show you guys how much easier it is. <laughs> Who did you time out? <laughs> what caps are those? This is NCR Dice Sub, this is GMK Dark. All right. So O-ring goes in between plate PCB. And then I'll show you guys right here, so. Basically, you just go pop this like that. Make sure this one goes above as well, right? And then all you do, push this 
below that. Just like that. Super easy. Boom. So now, take that. This one's going back in. Maybe I won't use the books on this one. How come you chose to not use a daughter board? Um, personally, on TKLs, I'm okay with the USB port being on the side. Um, On a, on a smaller board, like a 60%, I do like it in the middle, um, but I was actually okay with the placement of the of the USB port. So I, I, I decided to opt against a daughter board, which it would have been super easy to add a daughter board, but I just felt like it was, it was unnecessary. That's such a nice touch, Thaximus, yo. Thank you. Darian is quaking, not having center USB. <laughs> I don't know, I, I sometimes I feel like center USB looks a little bit funny on a TKO. I'll show you the other thing I like about this. Well, yeah, I don't know. Oh, no, yeah, on a 60, it has to be centered. It has to be centered on a 60. Yes, agreed, agreed, agreed. I, I think I think on a TKL the right it needs to be justified. I don't like center on a TKL that much. Alright, build number two. So we'll take a look here. So these are NCR die subs. Wow, this actually looks super classy. So NCR die subs, um, V1 inks, aluminum plate. Thank you for the follow cube keys. <laughs> All right, let's get her plugged in. This will actually look nice with the white cable as well. This is a nasty cube, nasty in a good way. Yo, I'm glad you dig it. So this is an ink build, right? So it should be a little bit poppier, a little bit less clacky. We'll take a look. Oh, I should probably do the uh, the mods first, eh? All right, let's see here. Pause the music. I wonder how browns would sound in this build. Ooh, I could definitely try browns. I do have another uh, two, another PCB. I do have another PCB. Not a TKL user, but we'll definitely try to get a maze. <laughs> maze, did you see that? <laughs> Akaze, nice. What's up, Peace Perfect? Uh, all right, here we are. Interact. All right, let's check out the uh, let's check out the mods. How many keyboard have you built and how many do you have in your house? Oof. Uh, I've probably built, I don't know, maybe like a hundred at this point. Um, I probably, why are you asking how many I have in my house? Cause you want to rob me? I see what you're doing. <laughs> uh, I probably have like 30 in the house or something like that. <laughs> All right, here we go.
Uf. Damn, spicy. I think I think these mods might even might sound better than the uh, the hyperglides. I feel like inks have a way of making mods sound quite nice. All right, here we go. So uh, once again, B1 inks, aluminum plate. Oof. <laughs> it, it would be a travesty if I didn't type fast on my own board, huh? <laughs> Damn. How'd it sound? I think this, I think the inks might even sound better than the hyperglides. Inks are the way. Show me the way. <laughs> Damn, that space bar. Uh, can we have a 65% Kaze? That would kind of be the Oku, actually. Space bar sounds good. Actually, I really wonder how they would sound in the Kaze. Do you drink coffee? Dude, I absolutely love coffee. I drive, I drink coffee every stream. I'm three shots deep right now. Well, although they've all but worn off. Uh, this was, where was this for the predictions? Bro, freaking K3Z's build has like 50 gram springs, dude. They're way too light. I got Butterfingers. <laughs> Kaze so fucking lit. Let's go. Bro, I love Kaze. Uh, any Kaze cattle brands available? Trying to swag. Do if you got a if you got some cattle, I will get a Kaze cattle brand made. <laughs> Inks are the way. Uh, can I trade a constellation for Kaze? Oof. Yo. I actually do have my constellation. What's a hyperglide? I know the hyperglides for mice. So hyperglides are cherries, kind of newer, smoother um, cherry MX black with re with newer molds, right? So they're kind of like a, a smoother retooled black. Um, from my personal experience, um, I would say if you if you had maybe um, like if you had 150 hyperglides and 150 cherry retooled blacks, um, you would have a higher percentage of smooth ones in the hyperglides in my opinion, than you would in the retool. But the smoothest ones from the hyperglides, I would say are on par with the smoothest ones, <laughs> the smoothest ones from the retool. So I wouldn't say they're smoother, I would just say that there's a higher percentage of smoother ones. But that's on the ones that I've compared. I've also found that the three pins are smoother than the five pin, at least on the ones that I've had. Is that the lulz tax? What's up, Kevin? Let's go. Want to trade kidney for Kaze? Have you heard of the pewter switches yet? For real, no meme. A light tactile has a place and they sound good. Are you talking about these bad boys? Or are pewter switch, are these are pewter, right? Yeah, dude, I, I absolutely love these actually. They 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 are very reminiscent of a cherry MX Brown. Um I I really like them. These might be some of my favorite tactiles. I'm gonna do a build with these. I already did show these off. They do come with a little bit extra lube from the factory, so I might I might not even lube or film these to be honest. 
The springs are a good are a good weight for me as well for a tactile switch. So I might just do a build with these exactly how they are. This is Glizzo's switch. You got it. So yeah, um, I'm gonna do a build with these um, at some point. It'll have to be a personal build probably. Want to trade F18X for Kaze? Ooh, I actually might have an F18X coming soon. Um, shout out to yo. Also, shout out to Daily Clack. Honestly, if you guys have not shopped on Daily Clack, I absolutely love how they do GMK group buys because they offer pre-order um, far after the group buy has ended. So if you're like me and procrastinate to shit um, and miss out on the group buy, you can actually buy um, the pre-order uh, quite a bit later as well. Uh, usually until they sell out. They're not your sponsor, bro. I need to add Daily Clack to my sponsor because uh, Mr. Fatty has been a longtime friend of mine. I will stand for Daily Clack all damn day long. <laughs> um, he did just send me, um, he, he, he has hooked me up with, with a lot in the past. So I, I, will, I will shill the heck out of Daily Clack because I love that, I love his business model. And shipping's not even that bad. Um, I bought like, I bought some switches a while ago and I, I want to say it was like nine bucks or 10 bucks for shipping. Uh, but he was the only one who had those switches. So, How, uh, that's like what Project Keyboard and Drop do. Yeah, so Project Keyboard does that, Drop does that as well. Um, I like that business model because they only mark it up like, you know, 15, maybe 10, 15, 20%. Um, I think Daily Clack marks it up even less, but um, I dig it. <laughs> I'll remind you to add them to your sponsor list. Yes, please. <laughs> but yes, I love Daily Clack. <laughs> Trading Dalco for Kaze signed by Ryan. Ooh, Peace, did you get a Dalco? I... I, uh... I think that's my... Since John has my... <laughs> since John has my Ogre right now, that's been my go-to board. Desk Hero does the same and they're Canadian. Nice. Yeah. So, shout out Daily Clack. Um... Also, something kind of interesting is <laughs> I don't I, I don't I'm not I don't make any money off of Daily Clack uh, as far as like um, uh, if you guys buy anything, but but Fatty's Fatty's a stand-up dude and hooks it up. So um, they also have a lot of stuff that a lot of U.S. vendors don't have. Um, I'll go on there like every once in a while, just looking around, and I'll find switches. I'll find random shit um, that that's just not offered at a lot of U.S. vendors. So if you're ever bored and looking for some cool stuff, check out their site as well. So anyway, this is the uh, NCR Dicebs with ink on aluminum plate. And lastly, we're going to be trying out the prototype, prototype, prototype build, which Mr. Perry said I'm going to have to clip these. So let me, let me clip those real quick. I'll show you guys what I'm clipping real right here right so all I did was clip the uh, which it won't actually matter because I, I basically clipped the 625 uh, stab holders right so we're not using a 625 this board doesn't support a 625 so in reality it won't matter right daily class back <laughs> daily clack is best clack I got Namui from them smoothest purchase ever right I wish they still had botanical. I need botanical. Oh, dude, don't remind me about botanical. That might, out of every keycap set that has dropped in the last six months to a year, no, a year, I guess. <laughs> botanical is probably my my the one I miss joining the most. Imagine having Dalco, Ogu, Erg, and Kaze. Yo, I I will definitely say that I'm I'm super lucky to have some some good friends. That's for sure. He doesn't have Ogre anymore because it's mine now, dude. Ogre's actually a board I would be super pissed if he took, John. So uh, please, please return it. Thank you. Okay, let's try the final build. I don't know if it's going to work, but let's try it out. I need, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to eat some of my, the rest of my almonds if you guys don't mind. I'm, I'm, I'm getting a low on blood sugar here. <laughs> this is a long stream for me. I'm a boomer.
Did you do the stab facing outwards so you can fix popped ones? No. Well, you shouldn't be popping your stabs. But here you go. So if it, if it pops out, you can definitely pop it back in. Just practice for your subathon, dude. I'm telling you, this is why I can't do a subathon. I'm at four hours right now, and I feel like I'm like, I need some milk. I, for, uh, I thought for some reason um, it was the other way on the proto. Oh yes, yes. So on this one, um. Technically, you can fix it, but because we're using a south-facing wire, the stab is flipped, so you can't fix it, right? Unless you fixed it from inside here. You stuck one, I stuck a spudger in there, which you definitely could. Actually, you know what? That would be even easier to fix. <laughs> yeah, that would that would be actually even easier to fix. So yeah, this is this is pretty much um, like every other board with north-facing, but. I don't think I've ever had a desolder to fix a stab on um, on a TKL. All right. Let's see if the prototype plate works with <laughs> the technically non-supported prototype um, PCB. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually put it into the, wow, that actually looks pretty sick. I'm actually gonna put it into the bottom first. check the alignment, right? So this is kind of what I was talking about with the QC. Is the spacebar stab going to hit the plate? The stab cutouts are only for north facing. Mm. I'll show you here. So that's why that's what I was referring to. So I'm basically what I'm doing with this build is I'm trying to see if the if the O-ring is going to hit this wire. But first I'm gonna check placement here. So it looks like it'd be okay. It is hitting on something though. Let's see. Yeah. So I'm gonna try top mount first. Actually, you know what? Let's just try it. Let's just go all out and do a ring. See if it hits. If it hits, we'll go to top mount. So when I put the O-ring on, I usually like to do the USB port last because you don't want it to get caught on this and then be loose here, tight here, whatnot. All right. Boom. Okay, O-ring is in. So this is what I was referring to, right? So you have the O-ring here and then you have the wire. The wire is literally right there. So if this gets compressed in, it could hit that wire. You can even hear it, right? So I don't have high hopes for it, but let's try. It might not even close actually, let's see. Nope. 
So look. <clears throat> Basically, right here, because the stab connector is so thick, it won't, the O-ring won't go under, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> What's up, Rocklina? That was that was definitely the best Hoya I've ever heard when we raided you last time. Props to you on that. Yeah, this is gonna have to be top mount, as I suspected. Yikes! <laughs> Do you recommend it to be built top mount or O-ring? Not this proto build in particular, but in general. Honestly, it depends on the build for me. It really depends on the build. Um, I think this PCB is still going to work for for top mount, so let's try it out. I don't think they sound too different. Is this the Heine Man's board? <laughs> Mr. Kaze? Um, this uh, Heine definitely uh, helped me a lot with this board as well. Alright. Uh, ooh, I need to get top mount screws, eh? Mm. Let's see. Yeah, I got those. Okay, so, notes from this session. We will have to make a ton more of the north-facing PCBs because the south-facing is not gonna work with O-ring and therefore, I probably would not recommend getting one. But I think Heine's gonna, gonna stock north and south. So, uh, basically how, how this one works is, got any screws, right? <laughs> Um, so Heine made this one for us in particular. It's the north. It's the north facing, right? So let me show you guys. Oh, I can show you on this one here. So um, we worked with Heine to create a north facing wire because I knew this would happen with the south facing. Um, he also so the basically the the Kaze PCB is not going to be green. It's going to have. Um, it's probably going to be black or red depending. Um, and then it's also going to have some cool Kaze screen print on it, stuff like that. Um, the cool thing is Heine, I believe is also going to be stocking north facing H88Cs. So even though it doesn't have the Kaze logo or anything special on it, it will still work, um, with this board. So you can, you can buy an extra PCB through us or you can get one through Heine. So it's not going to be hard to get a north facing PCB. So really there's no reason to buy a South Facing. O-ring sound should be quite a bit different to top mount. Yeah. I would say I would say it's a lot, a lot different with the feel. The sound, I would say it's a little bit a little bit less clacky. Uh, is there gonna be a, a group buy for this board? It's gonna be in stock. It's gonna be in stock. So you designed this with Heine. Um, I designed the keyboard. Heine uh, did the PCB, but I also sent the design to Heine a couple times um, for some some insight. So Heine is also one of the designers that that helped me with this board. So technically, yes, Heine did uh, collab a bit with the board. Can I get your chisel chin screen printed on the PCB? Oh, don't do that. <laughs> Any target GB price? Um, it's gonna be pretty in line with every other TKL. It's not gonna be anything crazy. Ah, uh, okay, 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 okay. All right, top mount it is. So I'm still not convinced that the top mount's gonna work, but we'll try it out. Let's see, is this the right? No, that's not the right screw. We got the itty bitty boys. There we go. 69,420. <laughs> ah. Co-lab. Will there ever be a lilac board? Uh 
Maybe at some point. So ideally, ideally what we want to do is, is offer different colors for different runs, right? So maybe round two, there might be a lilac. Got to run for a bit. Pee me if you need me. You're a big boy. Should be okay. John, John, don't leave me. Don't leave me. They're savages. I need you. <laughs> Grace wants lilac everything, right? I mean, I don't, I don't blame her. I think a lilac, a lilac, uh, Kaze would be pretty lit. The Kaze's gray red is quite unique and very classic look. Yeah, these are, honestly, these are kind of my favorite colors. It's pretty real estate. Yo, Evolve Keys, thank you for the follow. What screw sizes did you use? Um, so the case screws are, um, I believe, let's see. Yes, so the case screws are M2.5 by six millimeter. The plate screws are M2.5 by five millimeter. Uh, but I'll show you guys one other design feature for the top mount. So in order to make the uh, front height so low, right? We actually had to go with button head screws. If you use non button head, uh, it would actually protrude above the top case, right? So you got to use the button head, which will be supplied. Okay, let's see if this will work. John's gone. <laughs> please, please don't revolt. Thoughts on the Belle Delphine keyboard collection? <laughs> What's up, Seraphs? Why do I know that name? And I feel like I shouldn't. <laughs> uh, imagine Lilac Kaze with dark purple weight. Ooh, that would actually be pretty sick. Lilac Kaze and copper accent would be sick as well. Damn, you guys are giving me way too many ideas. Maybe I'll do a poll for like a special edition Kaze or something. I think a green Kaze with brass badge. That would be like a, that would be like Rolex OG colors, wouldn't it? I'm going to gift Ryan the mouse pad. What mouse pad? Oh, wait, is there actually a, a collab? Or are you trolling me? All right, let's see if this works. Hey, nice. Hey, all right. Uh, screws. It's a real collab? No way. Marvel's game when? Oh. <laughs> it's 11 o'clock. You guys are, are you sure you guys aren't all be, are going to be sleeping by the time we finish this? <laughs> so the current colors won't be run again. No, they will. So for the current run, well, uh, for the first run of Kaze, we're gonna do um, those three colors I showed. So it was the Oxblood Red, the Denim, Faded Denim Blue, and Smoke Kaze, uh, Smoke PC Kaze. Full polished stainless steel Kaze, thanks Ryan. Yo, um, I'm pretty sure that would cost at least $700 just to ship to Australia. <laughs> I was thinking British racing green, very Jaguar-like. Yo, that would actually be pretty dope. I do have, I don't know if I'm allowed to say what board it is, but I do have a British racing green 65% coming. That's gonna be a very lit build. All right. I'm gonna steal these caps once more. It's 11. If you're only offering north facing PCB, there will be issues with R3 keycaps. With R3 keycaps. Oh, are you talking about um, for cherry R3? What do you mean? Row three? Might have to refund leave typing test if John isn't back in time. Oh shoot, you're right. If Sheba, if you're here, we might have to refund you. Cherry row three, CRP row three. Uh, I'm trying to think of a, a situation where you would have row three there on a TKL. Mm. 
North facing on the stab only, not switches. Hmm. I am doing, you're doing me a confuse. Oh, you're talking about if the whole thing was flipped? <laughs> no, just, just the space, just the stab is flipped. Oh boy. This sounds, okay. K3Z, okay, if you're hearing this, I don't know, this this round one plate might take the cake. I might have been onto something when I made this first plate. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe crazy flex cuts aren't the way. This prop, this prop hella solid sounding. Dude, honestly, I can't wait till we can have meetups again. I think I think at the next meetup, hopefully once all this COVID is over, um, we could have like a, we can, we can have a meetup and I'll bring all the Kazes. I'll for sure bring them to the next LA meetup. Cause I really want you guys to try these out. International meetup when? Dude. LA trip? Yo, Godream, when are you and Quinn gonna make an LA trip? Or maybe I should make an Australia trip. I'll just bring the Kazes to Australia. How about that? I would drive down to LA just to try the Kaze. Dude, the last, I'm actually, I'm actually like super, um, super curious how, how the next meetup's gonna be because the last LA meetup was in December of 2019 and there were like 300 uh, tickets available and it sold out. And I'm pretty sure the keyboard community has like tripled or quadrupled since then. So I, I, have, I think the next keyboard meetup is gonna be absolutely insane. Are non-keyboard people allowed? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you don't make fun of the keyboard people, I think you're allowed. <laughs> I think Maze by Grace is gonna have a. Uh, all right, how, would you guys would you guys buy uh, aluminum engraved keycaps by uh, Maze by Grace if you had a vendor booth there? <laughs> Can I come? I don't know, Chong. I don't know. <laughs> uh, we can go to Korea afterwards. I'm down. Hopefully, my Korean will be legit by then. So toxic. <laughs> I, T Chong, I'm I'm only asking if you're sure you can come because I don't know if you remembered what happened at the last meetup. I mean, I'm sure you don't remember what happened, but I'm pretty sure you did some sus stuff at the last meetup, and they said you might be banned from the next one. Do you remember that? Maybe you won't. Maybe you don't remember that. <laughs> 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 Chonga, he would never. Have you met Chonga? I'm gonna come. I'm okay. I'm joking. I'm joking. Please don't come kiss me. I'm joking. Okay, let's test. Let's let's test out the mods. So, a little bit of a uh, backstory on this, right? So we're using a a PCB that is not going to be supported, right? So this is the south facing wire. Um, it does hit a little bit. So the spacebar might 
The space bar is going to have a sound, like a little bit of a tick. So you're going to have to deal with that. Um, but um, this is going to be cherry retooled on the original OG plate. So. Damn, this is going to sound pretty spicy. I'm <laughs> sus boards. Dude, why do you think it's called sus boards? Okay, here we go. Let's check out the mods. So it's got, it's got a little bit of a tick on the space bar because of the south facing. Uh, so basically what I would have to do if I really, really wanted to use this PCB, which I'm never going to use this PCB, right? But if I really wanted to, what I would have to do is I would basically have to just cut out on the on this uh, below the stab to make room for the wire. Because what you're hearing, that tick that you're hearing is the wire hitting the bottom of the plate, right? So if I really wanted to make it work, I would do that, but um, it's just, it's not going to be supported anyways. So you'll hear it hit, but you'll get a better gist of how it's going to sound. Okay, here we go. Is this VF? <laughs> oh no. This is the PCB I didn't even test. <laughs> oh no. Did Heine not flash this one? This might not be flashed. Oh no. I don't think this PCB is flashed. Let me grab my other one. Let me double check. Hang on. Yeah, it doesn't really matter because I'm going to be desoldering it anyway because of that space bar. So I guess you can just listen to it. But I don't think this... <laughs> I think I got a QMK flash this one because this is for the... Um, he sent me these two... What is this Ford for again? The Bok. The B-O-K-A-L. So I don't even think it's flashed yet. He just kind of tossed them into the package for me. But... <laughs> anyway, you guys can get it. You can get a feel for how it sounds. I'm just going to type on screen. I think it actually sounds, I think the gasket is where it's at. At least with this, this might be a little too clacky. What do you guys think? Uh, pause this. I love O-ring. Yeah, so. I think I think my takeaway would be if I were QCing this, QCing this live, which I am. <laughs> um, I think my my order would be. Who? Oh! oh. I think we might want to keep the new plate. 
I like this, this, this build right here was my favorite, right? So that was Kaze, um, the, v, the, the second rendition of the plate with the O-ring mount. I think this was the best sounding one. Um, the hyperglide sounded pretty good too. Um, but I, I think the, I think the inks with gasket on aluminum was my favorite. This would probably be my build if I, for my Kaze, right? Is that the V1 inks? I really like, yes, this is the one. So um, it's a little bit softer as well. This is very, this is a lot harsher. So I think, I think O-ring is probably, unless you really want that, that tactile feedback from a top mount, I think O-ring is gonna be probably the, the goat for this board, um, at least for my preference. You, you can always go top mount. Right, so I mean, honestly, if you're tactile, you might actually like, you might actually like the top mount more. Uh, but for me, linear gang, um, I would say V1 inks on the aluminum plate is is with the O-ring mount is going to be my my go-to. So, and we confirmed tonight that we will be have to we'll have to use north-facing uh, stabs, right? So south-facing stab will not work with an O-ring or in this board actually in general because of the stab cutouts. So uh, we will be offering the opportunity to buy multiple PCBs with the board. So it's not gonna be hard to get extras. Um, additionally, I spoke with Heine and he was saying, uh, <laughs> he was saying that um, uh, north facing PCBs will be available in his store as well as south facing. So even if you, Say you don't want a Kaze PCB, you should be able to pick one up from Heine later on down the road uh, as well. So, sourcing a PCB won't be an issue. Put the Hyperglide build in the PC Kaze, into the PC Kaze and type on your lap without the bottom. What the? <laughs> Is that like a Starman Junior? Bro, if the if the PC Kaze was already taken apart, I would. I don't feel like I don't. I, are you looking at my eyes? I'm falling asleep here. <laughs> This actually sounds really good too. All right. Unplug that bad boy. So last look here. So this is the final prototype. I don't think we're going to make any changes. Um, this is going to be the board. Uh, and then we're gonna be going with, with this plate as well. As far as colors for the plate, not 100% sure yet, but I am liking these two colors. The PCB will not be green. <laughs> That's one classy looking board for sure, definitely. Uh, I think N NCR die subs look pretty, pretty good on every board. Um, but uh, I will show one last time here. If I can find my space bar. Um, so this is what the uh, stainless steel is gonna look like with the denim. bottom here show you the weight one last time for everyone that came in a little bit later this color actually turned out <laughs> way nicer than I was expecting it's super classy Any picks of sandblasted stainless steel? Um, I don't have any for the Kaze, but I can show you what it will look like. Uh, 
so the Heine TKL1 um, is actually from the same factory that Kaze will be made at. So it, the stainless steel should look quite similar to this. This is what the sandblasted would look like. How would O-ring be for lighter tactiles like pewters and browns, or would you recommend top mount? Uh, I think it'd be fine, to be honest. Um, I would say if you just really love that like harsh bottom out for tactiles, you might want top mount, but in my opinion, O-ring is always my favorite. So, dude, stop teasing us. Release the Kazi already. <laughs> hey, you guys know exactly where I am on the process. Um, it's pretty much, we pretty much just, just approved uh, this is my this was my QC night, and I pretty much just approved the board. So um, I think once they get back from Chinese New Year, we might uh, we might have some dealings with with the factory. <laughs> uh, oh my God, that looks so clean! Ah, I know you like the lilac. Do you have any favorite denim brands? Ooh, that's a good question. Um, honestly, I really like Subi. Uh, it's it's spelled. I don't know if the K is silent. I always think it's silent in my head. But it's pronounced it's spelled k-s-u-b-i those are my probably my favorite jeans to be honest uh subi's nice um what else yeah naked and famous is pretty nice for sure how many units will be on round two no idea i don't know i have no idea hopefully more than round two hopefully more than round one yep apc is legit um acne jeans are super nice as well um Momotaro, I've heard of Momotaro. Fear of God, yo, Titan. You got you on that fog hype or what? Dude, I wanted the Fear of God basketball shorts so bad back in the day, but I, I could not justify spending like, what were they, like 450 bucks for some, some basketball shorts with long drawstrings. <laughs> I love APC and PBJ, nice. Yeah, APC is like, in my book, you can't go wrong. It's a staple, never gonna go out of style. Um, I love Stone Island too. I've never tried their jeans though. Ballers don't complain, yo. I still don't know if you cut that Subi. I don't know if you cut the Subi tag. I cut mine. <laughs> I cut mine. I actually got um. <laughs> I'm only grabbing it because it's right here. But this is actually one of my like go-to jackets. Um, this is a Subi denim jacket. Welcome to my fit channel. I'll put it on for you guys. <laughs> but uh, I actually really like Subi. It's like not too expensive. And uh, I think this jacket was like, like 150 bucks, but it's pretty nice. And they have like the cool, like uh, kind of like the cool Subi logo there. Dude, I'm freaking wearing sweat shorts. <laughs> I stream in sweatshorts. Don't yell at me. Don't at me. These are my streamer shorts. Bro, I'm telling you. I, I, I have I have to stream in shorts. I can't stream in pants. I, I get a little too nervous. <laughs> Did he say fitness channel? Get out of here. Bro, I, wi I wish I could pull off shorts. I really wish I could. Who is this hottie on stream? Get out of here. But yeah, check out Subi. Um, I really like their stuff. They're actually based in Australia, I believe. Stand up outfit, bro. <laughs> I look so embarrassed right now with, I'm literally wearing long socks and sweat shorts. I look like I'm, I'm confused <laughs> with my outfit. I'm gonna head to bed for now. Congrats on the final proto. Yo, thank you, Brody. Maybe I should uh, release some Kaze streamer shorts. <laughs> Wax London clothing got some dope over shirts. If you're into that, ooh, I love over shirts. I'll check it out. Am I too late? Just woke up. Kinda, <laughs> kinda. Oh my God, four hours and 20 minutes. We made it past 420. Let's go. <laughs> no, he might overheat if I wear pants. Raz, don't tell him. Don't tell him. That's exactly why I don't wear pants. <laughs> Runway show when? Wow. Could you imagine? <laughs> I'm not that much of a Chad. I'll buy one. 
I need an NRD aluminum wallet, like a Rama wallet. Anyway, so uh, this is what the stainless steel will look like if it's sandblasted. As of right now, um, I think we're gonna offer for plate or rather for weight options, I think we're gonna offer aluminum. So which is the same, this is the aluminum, right? So, oh my God, this is scary having. <laughs> so this is the aluminum weight. So we're gonna offer aluminum weight. Whoa. We're gonna offer polished stainless steel, which is this one. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna offer sandblasted stainless steel, which will look like this. Uh, and lastly, we're gonna offer brass, which will look like this. Obviously, they all four are gonna probably have different price points. Uh, given that aluminum is cheaper than brass, which is cheaper than uh, polished stainless steel. Polished stainless steel is the most expensive because they uh, they have to polish it, uh, and that's it, quite labor intensive. So, um, although this is my favorite, it's going to be expensive. So, um, but that's what happens when you want something that looks like. I think it looks like a piece of jewelry. I really like it. <laughs> Belle Delphine's keyboard comes with Polaroids of her. Any chance for Ryan lewd photos with Kaze? Uh, yeah, just check out my Discord. I'm sure I have enough embarrassing pictures in there to keep you satisfied for a while. <laughs> uh, polished stainless steel with denim looks so worth it. Yeah, it turned out fantastic. Um, honestly, I wasn't sure how I was gonna feel about the about the denim until until I saw it in person. But um, but yeah, so. We don't want embarrassing pictures. People want topless pics. <laughs> wow. Love the NRD pattern. Yo, thank you, Grace. So yeah. Oh. I think I think this board would look sick with a lilac badge. That would look pretty cool. And then uh, this is what the uh, this is what the red one will look like. Oh, you know what? I didn't even do a typing test on the on the uh, on the blue one. I'll do one last typing test for you guys. Are you going to nerd typing test with glasses on? What's a nerd typing test? Are you calling me a nerd, John? Fifty units for round one. Um, <laughs> I was saying at least fifty. So fifty will probably be the minimum. That'll be the minimum. It's not going to be. Um, <laughs> Uh, I, I don't, I, I would, I'd be kind of sad if it was only 50. I'm going to try for more, but 50 will be the minimum. Uh, I think we're, did you, did they already bet on the leaf typing test or should we do it next time? Yeah, kind of, kind of, kind of tired. <laughs> I haven't even eaten dinner yet. <laughs> 50 of each color. Get out of town. Haven't bet yet. Let's do it next time. Hopefully Shiba forgives us. I think he went to bed anyway. Maybe we should do it. We'll we'll tell him we'll tell him that uh, we'll tell him that uh, we 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 procrastinated, postponed it for him next time. I don't even think he's here. I think he'd rather us postpone it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You should do 200, bro. Could you imagine k 3 z and I QCing 200 boards? That sounds that sounds like quite a debacle. Ryan, if I say you're handsome, will you give me a Kaze slot? Wow, that's that's really uh. You won't just, out of the kindness of your heart, say it, huh? You need something in return? <laughs> Convincing yourself. I'm pretty good at that. I'll be sending you these pickles, a thousand dollars worth. That's how you get on the, the banned Kaze list. If anyone sends me a pickle to my P.O. box, you're on my, you're on my shit list. I need to, uh, where is my shit list? Who did I add to my shit list last time? I think it was Chong and someone else, wasn't it? So this is what the old USB port look like so this is what the old one looked like notice how there's a kind of a square around a square so it actually doesn't look quite as clean right
<laughs> we'll be giving people a free leave typing test next stream. Yes. Next stream, I'm going to be building the Trinity uh, XT TKL. So that'll be pretty lit as well. Chong wasn't even first. Who was first? I totally forgot who was on my shit list. Must be a crappy shit list, huh? Oh, it was Dash. It was Dash. You're right. It was Dash. <laughs> I should probably get a command for that, huh? Uh, if I send you some Supreme, can I get a slot? Ooh, that'd be tempting. I did really like the North Face Supreme collab. I missed out on that. But, uh, all right. So, last typing test of the night. Uh, what is this? Uh, Nick, or uh, K Frizzy, is this a top mount or O-ring mount currently? Bitter Seeds turns into a pumpkin. Must sleep. Good night. All right, Bitter Seeds. Later, dude. Have a good one. Thanks for sticking around for uh, way too long of a stream. <laughs> uh, I think this is currently... Uh, let's see. I, I could probably tell by the flex. Let's see. Mm, all right. Yeah, this is O-ring mount. Okay. So we got O-ring mount. Um, these are retool blacks with CRP tulip, right? All right, here we go. Uh, 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 uh. If I remember correctly, this sounded pretty fire. That's not tulip. What is this? <laughs> What is it? Not tulip. Peacock. Sorry. Peacock. <laughs> not Arabic. It's definitely not Arabic. <laughs> I got reamed already for that once. All right. Here we go. <laughs> Man, dude, these must be 55 gram springs. I'm freaking fat fingering everywhere. <laughs> uh. All right, how'd that one sound? Pretty creamy. Not pr it was pretty creamy on my end. What about you guys? Fifty-five gram best, yeah. If you have weak fingers, come on. Sounds like a Kaze. Nice. <laughs> uh. All right. Um, is that it, boys and girls? Is that it? Should I do a marbles, John? It's up to you. Should we do it? Should we do it? I mean, these people stuck around. We're at four hours and... Oh my. This might be the longest stream I've ever done. This is what my build's gonna look like, not gonna lie. Yo, that's because you're a classy guy, Darian. Do a marble for a Kaze spot? Oof. I think maybe if... I'll do a subathon and then I'll do a Kaze spot. I'll do that. Dalco is longer, no? Was it? No prize just for fun? No, nah, I got a prize for you guys. I got a prize. Let's see here. We'll do one marbles and then we'll call it a night. I appreciate you guys for sticking around. Um, 
It's definitely been a long stream. <laughs> I'm going to head to sleep now because it's 2 hours 30. Unless you're giving away something. Wow. All right. Let's see. I'll give away something. Don't you worry. We appreciate you. <laughs> Yo, Sleepy Saki. Thank you for that. Yo, Moretta. Resubscribe for three months. Let's go. What, what's up? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? What is Thax about to do? Sorry, my internet just poofed. John, we're going to do one marbles. Prize is Ryan's shorts reveal. <laughs> I'm actually wearing Volcom sweat shorts. Uh, all right. Let me see. What do we got? One marbles only. Yes, only one marbles. John said I can only do one marbles per stream. Uh, let's see. What shall I give away? Looks around room. <laughs> you have you have homework to show me after stream. Cannot run. What? There's no way you're giving me homework after stream. I'm so tired. I'm literally going to go to bed right now. <laughs> All right, this will be a fun one because I know you guys love stickies. We'll do two more bisos. I'll toss in some sprit 62 gram slows for you to test out whoever wins. Got you a pink TX cable. That's gonna be USB mini. Ooh, here's a fun one. Do you guys want, you want gummies? Should I grab more gummies? You guys like the gummies, huh? <laughs> Mad Lab coffee. Yo, I need, what's up Mad Lab? <laughs> That's rad. What are you doing up this late? Speaking of which, I need some Mad Lab coffee. <laughs> Shout out to Mad Lab coffee. If you guys need some coffee at all, use my, uh, let me see here. We got a coupon code, discount code, lol stacks on Mad Lab, fat discount, super bomb coffee. Uh, I'm actually, I need to get a re-up on that so I can have some on stream, show you guys, do a little review. My tummy hurt. <laughs> <laughs> they had too much coffee, can't sleep. Dude, I had three double, I had, no, I had three shots tonight. One double and an espresso martini, and it's definitely kicked my ass. There you go. Raz, hit it up. Roll through and snag some. I need to make a trip up there. So Mad Lab's actually in LA. Um, use Lolstack's discount for 15% off. He already has, like, ridiculously cheap prices compared to many other roasters, by the way. Uh, but shout out Mad Lab. <laughs> I need to cruise up, get some gear so I can show it off on stream. Uh, I bought these. I bought some Albanese after seeing them on this stream. So good, right? Do a lag giveaway? Bro, I worked so hard to get these. Come on. <laughs> uh, all right, so... I need to cruise up and get some Mad Lab coffee to give away too. That'd be pretty sick. Have you ever tried Coffee Fin? No, I have not. Um, this is kind of a cool set that I don't use anymore. So maybe someone can use it. I think this is what the CMYK set. Is that what this is? This is GMK. What is this one? I don't use it. I'm sure someone would like it. CMYK. All right. So we got a CMYK set. CMYK mods. Um, my personal favorite was to use this on, um, on, uh, on white on black. It actually looks pretty cool. So we'll give that away. And I think that's it. That's a little goodie bag, huh? That's a little goodie bag. Ooh. Toss in the Heine sticker as well. There we go. One marbles for all. Do two marbles. This is going to be for all. So this is going to be for one marbles. Look at how it hits that stainless. Ooh. Look how the light hits that stainless steel on the badge. It almost looks like it lights up, huh? 
Pretty sick. Speaking of which, I think Mr. Uh, Mr. Madlab, if you're not if you're not using a custom keyboard, I think you need one. We need to do a Madlab coffee build. <laughs> Gummies. Let me get some gummies. That's a haul, right? So uh, we're gonna do the, uh, these are gonna be the sour gummies. Sour mini neon gummies. Pretty fire, I was eating these earlier. So we'll toss that in as well. All right. Mad Lab Coffee, are you US only for now? It'll have to be waterproof. <laughs> wow. All right, we'll get you one of those rubber, rubber tops for it. <laughs> Uh, but yes, I do need to make a uh, make a trip up there. I have no excuse. All right, let's see if we can do the marbles. Yeah. Is this gonna make me log in? Don't look at my password. When you, <laughs> when you when you log in, please save your info on marbles. Uh, let's see. So I do marbles. There we go. Yo. And uh, so I don't get yelled at. We're gonna be moving the uh, face cam. There we go. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Who? Stop laughing at me. Based on the noise of each key, I deducted the password is Kaze so late. Bro, don't scare me like that. I thought you were actually gonna know my password. It's definitely not password one two three. Uh, we ship international. If you run into issues on the site, just hit me up. Yo. Okay, so Mad Lab does ship international. So if you guys want some fire coffee from, from Southern California, definitely hit up the website. Sign in on Twitch? Oh God. Do I have to really have to sign in on Twitch? Okay, hang on. Okay. Is that better? <laughs> <laughs> Will the coffee still be hot when it comes to Canada? Yo. DQ, you better not butcher the coffee. Okay. Do we have to do this the play thing, John? I'm so happy you didn't leave me, John. I would have been I would have been lost forever. Oh, I have to go to race. <laughs> I'm like, are you gonna start this thing or what? <laughs> uh. So I gotta go to race, okay. Now what? Bro, I need to be able to remote in and con no way, bro. I can't give you all that power. No man, no one man should have all that power. Pick a map. Okay. 13? Should I do Pixels Raceway? Is that what you were saying? You guys can actually vote? Wow. That's kind of cool. Should we do that one? Okay. It looks like it's Pixels. Okay. <laughs> vote 69. Did you guys seriously both do Vote 69 at the same time? John, are you? do you really want to be in the same classification as DQ?
Oh, I didn't even classify if it was con, con yeah. I think just with COVID and everything, we're gonna do continental US. Sorry guys. Just continental US on this one. Dude, I'm a I am approaching DGen hours right now. Is uh, is Maze by Grace still in here? She'd be proud of me. This is unfair. DQ. All right, DQ. You join. If you win, I'll send you something much better than this, okay? <laughs> Pika Joyce, what's up? Where you been? Hey, hi, how you doing? Ryan gonna send DQ a 3080 FE. DQ, do you need a 3080? I told you guys who hooked me up with my 3080, right? I'm proud. I am proud of you. Nice. Okay. I can sleep. I can sleep well tonight. <laughs> Only FE? Why? Why would you want the FE version? Isn't the FE have like just a stock cooler? I got the, uh, the 3080 XC3. But, uh, that's because Heine gave it. Heine hooked me up with it. <laughs> he gave me his spot because he already had one. So shout out to, uh, to Heine. Okay. Can I start this? Did everyone already hit play? <laughs> or do I have to hit it first? I have the Zotac 3090, AKA the worst one, but it's probably better than every 3080. Press race. Oh, okay. Race. Check out the huge list of community maps. Just choose. Okay, Hochella, you act like I know what I'm doing. How about this one? Is this one better? Is this, is this, is this better? <laughs> so, I forgot who set that up for me last time. I think Kimchi Jody Boy set up the face cam large. <laughs> That's gonna be my uh, my DGen hours just chatting screen. Look at that five o'clock shadow. Hey, dude, I shaved today. I must be turning into a man. I hope that, um, I hope X Little Man wins so I can just deliver this to his room and I don't actually have to ship it. It's always G Chen time, baby. I want to see that jawline. Get the frick out of here. I want to see that shorts. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> I'm wearing a freaking jean jacket and sweat shorts right now. You don't want to see my outfit. What's this for? <laughs> this is for, um... Can that jaw cut diamonds? Come on. Uh, I'll show one last time here. Uh, there we go. So this is going to be for... Man, I gotta move it up here. So we got the uh, gummy worms. We got GMK CMYK mods. We have a pink TX USB mini cable. We got two Biso stickers. You got a Heine sticker. And we have some Sprit 62 gram slow springs. That's basically a, that's basically a goodie bag if you come to a Lil Stacks birthday party. It's CM, okay, okay Dash, okay Dash. Are you, try, are you trying to embarrass me in my own stream? Well then welcome to the club because that's all everyone else does. <laughs> Let me see them climbing thingies. Dude, I have I lost all my calluses. They're gone. Infinite Biso. Bro, can I can I you really want to see how many Biso stickers I have? I have I have the Biso collection. We have the we have the holographic Biso. We have the we have the who you looking at, Biso. <laughs> we have the We have the, the oh shit, that's a lot of Biso stickers, Biso. <laughs> you, 
forgot to give me Biso stickers. I forgot to get Nernes bump ons too. Uh, I guess you gotta come back over, John, and bring back my lube. All right, are we ready to start? You guys ready? Yes. I'm not gonna be able to see the screen because I'm a boomer, so just letting you know. Mole stack stickers win soon. Soon. Okay, we're playing. How many sus board stickers do you got? Bro, I got like seven. <laughs> oh shit, we're starting? Wait. Wait. Oh my god. I'm so lost. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Who we got? Oh shit. We got 10 clueless, followed by Elmchi, Eamsbird. Oh, uh, let's go. I'm so bad at navigating, my goodness. Whoa. Here we go. Oh, Elm Chief. Coming in hot. What? Do I hit F1 or 1? Oh, we hit 1. There we go. Oh, oh my. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay, there we go. <laughs> 10 clues coming in hot. John's John's trying to catch up, but he's a little slow tonight. Boom, boom, boom. 10 clues. No one even close. No one even. Oh, oh, oh shit. He's drunk. He's drunk. M Ooh, MJ6. MJ game six, let's go. A legendary game. Coming in hot, there he goes. He's gonna hit the tires, I know it. Oh, he sure did. Mad Lab Coffee? No, no. There he goes. No way, no mad, no way. Dude, you guys are way far behind. Oh, LMG coming in hot. 10 clueless, who's it gonna be? It, oh, oh. Oh, oh, <laughs> MG with the win. Let's go. You guys are all drunk up here. I don't know what you guys are doing. <laughs> Mr. MG, do you claim your prize? Rip DQ. Rigged, bro. Wait, who won? Elmchi, you claim your prize. Elmchi is my sister. <laughs> so close. Couldn't get top 10, yikes. I was lead, dude, 10 clueless, you almost had that one. Hey, yo, what? Whoa. Bro, did you even, never won one of these looking for group? What's LFG, looking for group? <laughs> Nice. All right, Mr. Elmchi. Are you in the continental US? If so, hit up Mr. John. Uh, hit John up on Twitch and he'll get in contact with me and then I will get you your gift. Looking for group heroic marbles. <laughs> Looking for group mythic 10 marbles. <laughs> Did you hear Doge OC's sister is pregnant? What? Nice. Okay, he is con US, solid. Do marbles for Kaze sale take top 50? Wow, Tommy. I see what you did there. Lil Stacks, he's the father. Are you talking about yourself again, DQ? I'm dead. Wait. Did you? You're not trolling me, are you? I didn't I didn't read something I shouldn't have, right? It's getting too late. Too dark to see. My assist. What? I'm not falling for this. Nope. I'm not, I'm not reading. I'm not reading. That would be like the Hunger Games waiting to see. Time to raid someone. Are they trolling me? Okay, it's time to raid someone. I think they're trolling me. <laughs> they're raid. You get out of here. <laughs> All right, Hochella. Thank you for sticking around. Uh, what do we do? Marble's out of here. There we go. Raid. T Ooh, Tim's. Tim is the only D Chen on right now, probably, huh? Thanks for the stream, Ryan. Thank you for staying for the whole dang time. Wow, four hours and 50 minutes. I'm gonna have fun waking up tomorrow. I'll tell you that much. Oh, I appreciate you guys. Thanks for sticking around. And I hope you like the Kaze. Uh, we're pretty proud of it. Just go for five hours, dude. I am tempted to, but I might, I might just, <laughs> just go for five hours. I might actually like hit the desk with my head. I'm so tired. 
<laughs> raids initiated. Wow. Apparently, John chooses who we raid and initiates the raid. Cuts me off like the Oscars. All right, dude. <laughs> Kaze kind of lit. Karaoke, here we come. Yo, there we go. We're going to raid Mr. Tim. Tim's the homie. No, no, we got, we got Tim. We got Tim. I would have raided Tim. <laughs> this is John's stream now. All right, Mad Lab, I'm going to hit you up later. I'm going to definitely stop by. Appreciate you joining in. But, uh, yep, so hope you guys like the Kaze. I'm going to be building the uh, the Trinity XT TKL um, on the next stream. I think that's probably going to be Tuesday or Wednesday. So that'll be a pretty lit build as well. Uh, I might even... I'm probably going to build it with these uh, 808 hype, um, inks. So that'll be pretty sick. Anyway, appreciate you guys. John, take him away. <laughs> John, take him away. <laughs>